But there are other factors than just who's cooking, who's cleaning, and who's paying bills. End of the day. So as much as you're just rubbishing the person, there are other factors in this re- in the relationship other than just those like nah. who does the menial housework and who pays the bills. Nah, you got some things you need to take a strong. Does hold the about, person man? love you? Does do they talk to you? Are they listening? Love rubbish. Do they, do they, do they, do they <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen, but that's a, listen. it's an important part of a, of a relationship. Love bro. can't cook food, man. Yeah. Trust me, bro. Me, how do you how do you feel with this person when when you lie down with them at night? Yeah. Oh, do, 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 I feel like you ain't paying half your damn bills. That's what I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, rodents and other small insects. Welcome to another episode of the Eloquently Say Nothing podcast. Hashtag ESN pod on all your social medias at ESN podcast everywhere and search for us Eloquently Say Nothing on Facebook. I am your host, Stavros Bus, And in the room with me tonight, I have Big Wahala. Wow, I want to discuss. After. All right. Well, Big Wahala is good. <laughs> I have Simple Simon. You are welcome on Simple Simon there. <laughs> and I have the actor. You know, Sicilians, the best liars in the world. I'm Sicilian. True. My father is the heavyweight champion of Sicilian liars. Now, growing up with him, he told me the pantomimes. Now, what that is, is a guy has 17 different pantomimes, which he gives away when he's lying. Guys have 17, women have 20, but guys got 17. So basically, it's a game of show and tell. You're showing me something without telling me nothing. Now, I know you know where they are. Now, if you want to tell me, you can tell me. But if you don't, I'm going to put you in a world of hurt that you won't walk away from. What's going on, people? It's your boy, the actor, up in the building. What film is that? True Romance. I didn't say True Romance. I've you, never seen that film. You did, but what's a pamper, pamper, what's it? pantomime? Pantomime. I'm assuming it means sign. It's the signs you give away when you're lying. Okay. Yeah, it's a French saying. New, new word for me. New word for that me. Is a, that actor's thing. Um, Mr. Wolf is wolfing himself somewhere. Who knows? He's probably crying. He's because crying. Of Liverpool, because of Liverpool. Gareth Bale! Look at his wounds. Don't shout into the microphone, please. I did it on purpose. And, uh, yeah, we... Um, you know what? Can I just start off with, with, for the first time ever in ESN history, in our seven and a half... Well, it's more than seven and a half year history. I just want to start off with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for what you've given us. You've provided us with nourishment and friends and women and whatnot and, and, and all that good stuff we've got some sunshine now and the rain for the trees and last of all thank you for Liverpool losing <laughs> a- Amen You don't understand how <laughs> You know, you know, yeah, you know MG's going to send a lightning bolt for you yeah, That's what happened yesterday <laughs> yeah, Yes, yeah. Uh, But you don't understand how happy I was that Liverpool lost yesterday man it's, It shouldn't be so, so happy to see somebody else in so much pain but I was not happy <laughs> that man, Liverpool lost yesterday uh, It was a beautiful thing Oh uh, man Alright so Big up Aleque because we went to do something with Aleque earlier, yeah? and she mentioned something that I yeah. Never... Big, big up good vibes. Yeah, we up good vibes. This is something I never. Are you going to talk about the cheating? No, <laughs> we'll talk about the cheating. We'll anyway. Okay. I... She brought up something that I don't know if you man, you might have picked it up. Simple. I don't know. If you... I don't understand. Why I don't know you, why, why none like, of you brought it up before. Maybe, or I've maybe, understood it. Maybe I just didn't think about it. Right, we was talking about who is the who was the least person she would. Uh, mind leaving no who's the least who would be the most person basically who's the best person on the podcast but the way that Sarah uh, described question, it was the different the question I asked was because she was like you're all equal you're all equal she was talking about how we can make the podcast bigger and you know blah 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 I'm like you know whatever whatever she was talking about potentially going on TV I said I don't think I'd be good on TV she's like of course you'd be good on TV I said yeah whatever and then I said which person from the podcast if they weren't there would you be like you'd be the most upset about which one, if we're, if, if we are not there, would you be like, oh, damn it, they're not on this, this episode? Now, she didn't, obviously, as most people did, she didn't give a straight answer. But something she did say was... Well, I said that Stav is the best on the podcast. Because I always say Stav's the best on the podcast. I say, oh, Stav, Stav, that's the best. Yep. Yeah? But um, she was like, oh, you know, oh, you know, you're all cool, blah, blah, blah. But she goes, 
I got, but she goes, you cannot have the podcast if I have it stabbed because stabbed uh, has uh, kind uh, of linked it. B- before we continue, she did say Mr. Wolf was the one that, oh, yeah. she, that she aligns with the, the most. most yeah. And she, 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 she likes his, 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 his talk way of, most. Way yeah. way so I guess she, she, would, she, she did. She, she kind of picked Mr. Yeah, Wolf. Yeah, she said mm. Mr. Wolf, Mr. Wolf. Which is good. So big up Mr. Wolf. He's crying somewhere. So, um, yeah, so she, in the end, she said, you can't really have the podcast without having Stav because Stav has made the podcast so much centered around him. And I was just listening thinking, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you know us already. We just assume that Stav fixes everything he says anyway, so mm-hmm. it's not a big deal, mm-hmm. right? In normal every day. But then she said, even the way he says things on the mic, he says, uh, "Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, rodents and other small insects, wake, welcome to eloquently say nothing." I, I am your host. I am your host. Yeah, yeah. Stavros Boss, and with me is the rest of you. Yeah, no, I'm Stavros Boss, and and whoever it is, he is the person. Yeah. I am the host here. I am the one that runs six here. I am the captain. And the, I am the captain now. And the ones who are with me, my crew members, I don't, yeah. I don't below me. I don't look at it that way. Ah, yeah. The rest of us. That's I've never, never ever acknowledged. You didn't acknowledge that before. That's what I was thinking. Acknowledged it before. I was thinking this person. Hold on, but simple. When you're saying yeah, every week every week shade, every week shade, shade, shade. 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 Yeah, but yeah. those are key words. I and me. Yes, it's mine. Mine. Is that is that how you two see it? Simple and actor. I've been telling you that from season one. It's your podcast. We start, we, we, we think about on your podcast. No, as but far in, as I'm we feature, <laughs> we feature on your podcast as far feature. as I'm concerned. In, feature, as in, yeah. I, that's my, I, I can understand behind the scenes stuff because I do strong arm things. So I used to, I don't think I do so anymore. I, I would, I would like to believe I don't anymore. Anyways, but we well, don't. But, but the way but, you, you don't. But the way that you don't do it is by still strong arm us to have to have make a decision that all of us make. But I don't see nothing. No, we we just made it. Uh, we made a decision that we. I we don't fought. see nothing wrong. Yeah, every time I say it, it, it goes through your head, anyway. So, so um, <laughs> uh, before I continue, that actor. Um. Yes. Even though I am the co-founder, you you run it. Is you you have that you lord over it. I do semantics. Oh, well, so I heard. I, know, about, I heard. I, know, I, know, I heard that time ago. But it was just weird when she said it. I was like, yeah. Yeah, but I, I, like, I said that whenever it, I talk about you guys, you always, I, on, this is on the mic, on the podcast, I said co-host. Yeah, he does. So he does say co-host when he's something to ask about. And it, but even, your introduction. Uh, even, even, uh, even certain um, other introductions, because I guess I've got now into a pattern. I don't even think about what I'm saying in the beginning. I just say it. I used to say my co-hosts are, but mm. in my head, for some reason, I always just say in the room with me tonight. And, and that's just, and it's not even tonight. It's it's, it's daytime we're recording. For once, we're recording during the day. Boy. And I was, it's uh, only because it's summer and the sun's out. <laughs> it's still daytime. We ain't, we ain't reached seven o'clock yet. No, yeah. Seven o'clock for me is nighttime. So, um, it's proper, yeah, proper Africa. Boy. If you check it, even the logo, his face is front and center. No, I asked him to do that though, because there was one point when my face was front and center. I didn't want that. Yeah, if you go to, you if you go to YouTube videos. My eyes is still there. I, I didn't bother changing it. I couldn't be bothered. Yeah, I told him I don't want my face to be front. Why not? Because I don't need my face to be in the front because he's the host. Because I see it. Like, I actually, in my, I'm just want to say I don't have a problem with it because that is actually how I see it. Mm. Stav is the host and we are the ones that's with him. No, I, I see. He's I, the captain and we're the ones underneath him. Are you Bobby that, Brown? No, no, no. no, hey, no, no, no. He's, he's Ralph <laughs> Chesman. We said this already. He's the Ralph Chesman of the group. Listen, listen. Oh, you're back in singers. He, he writes the lyrics, but nobody wants to hear him, really. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I prefer because I don't know um, that group as well as I know Take That. So oh, you trying to be, say you're Gary, Gary Barlow. Barlow? I'll be Gary Barlow. Gary Barlow did try a thing. He wrote, uh, yeah, and he's, he's not Robbie Williams. Is okay, he? so you're Gary Barlow. I'm Robbie Williams. I'm taking it. I don't care. <laughs> wow. You're, you're, yeah, he's, uh, he's Jason Orridge. But hold on. Which was the one that they would like? There was only on. one that they liked. Hold on, that's the point. I don't know the other three. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jason Orridge. <laughs> I don't know the other three. One of them wrote and no, produced. Jason Orange one of them was the one. just like the star, innit? Jason Orange was the one that everybody was, because it was one that everybody was in love with. There's always, there's that always, was Jason Orange. Everybody yeah. loved Jason Orange. That's what I'm talking about. Simple Simon, yeah. Jason Orange. And I can't remember the other two. I'm not going to lie, Webs. But you're one of them. And so is Mr. Wolf. So. <laughs> 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 the, gay, um, the gay one and the one no one cared about. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's better if he's one of them gay. Maybe you should have done Westlife. Westlife might have been a better better pick because I still don't know them or even. Yeah, like I, don't, I, don't, I don't know Westlife enough. <laughs> Estelle, what's the what's the what's the words with the three black women? Eternal. Eternal. Maybe Eternal would have been better. Than, I don't. So know. wait, who's Louise Nerding? I don't know. Who oh, Louise oh, Redknapp now? Mm, Mr. Wolf or Louise Nerding? Hey. Mr. Wolf, because he's not here, so he gets that title. He's a white woman. <laughs> wait, what about from if it was um, is it All Saints? 
Yeah, what about? Yeah. Well, Stab has got the nose for it, so he has to be, uh, what's her face? Wow. Black guy. So, so you three are the, you three are the whites. Chasney Lewis. Just as long as you three are the whites. That's cool. Um, in fact, touching on whites, should we, in fact, let's, let's talk about this, 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 this uh, cheating thing. All right. Before we got talking, I was discussing a situation I was in where I was listening to a couple of men talking about cheating and how hard it was for them not to cheat and how they had to, to like plan and organize like a, a set method on how to not cheat. And I thought, it's mad. And Simple Simon said that it's, 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 it's not, it's not a human function to be one person, is it? Your really? phone is your phone. Ding, ding. Because <laughs> <laughs> your phone was like, well, hey, well Hala, you said that it's, it's, it's not easy to be faithful. And then Simple Simon said, it's not normal for you to stick with one person. I was thinking it's easy to be faithful. And you said, no, really, you have to work at it. And I said, all right, fair enough, I get that, I get that. And then we just, we started talking about that and... But this is before we recorded, so we said, let's save ourselves for the podcast. I think, it's, when I say it's not easy to be faithful, it'll be easy to be faithful if you're an ugly man that can't get no girls. But when girls are available to you, I think people find it will find it a lot more difficult to be faithful. So the, the line, you're only as faithful as your options is, you believe, rings true? Not rings true, because you could still, there's people that's got a lot of options that are still faithful. Yeah, but I think that it's so harder for those ones that have the options than it is for the ones that have no options at all. But isn't it by definition that humans aren't men- aren't meant to be monogamous? Aren't meant to be with one person? Well, that's, I, that's the point. I, I don't know. I, I'm assuming so. I'm assuming that you're not meant to be with one person. But I'm, I'm saying this, yeah? As I said, humans are stupid. Animals just go and do what they're doing. But there's there's still people, animals in the animal kingdom that have their Certain own. Certain animals, yeah. yeah that, that, that breed with one particular type of person because they think that's the best person to yeah. breed with. But... um. I don't know. Human beings like to make things more difficult for themselves. Hence the reason why we go to work. Hence the reason why we have um, relationships with one person and make it to the point where if they speak to somebody else, you want to kill them and all this type of stuff. Mm. So do you think that's due to our programming? Yeah, of course. It's it's conditioning, isn't it? So how do we break that cycle? Even your conditioning has been conditioned. I'm not saying that you have to be broken. But are you happy to be in a conditioned state? I think that you kind of need the conditioning to allow the, the world to, to kind of run how it is. Imagine if everyone was just going around banging and releasing children all over the place. But would, it, would it function? That wasn't my question. Are you happy to be in a conditioned state? Oh, I'm happy to be, um, was it monogamous? Or what's that one? In a conditioned state. Yeah, okay, I'm happy to have a problem with that. Okay. <laughs> so like, in this situation, I don't actually have a problem with it. Simple? Okay. Simple what? You, you are the one that came with the thing that actually, I think, exploded the conversation from simple. It's, yeah. easy, it's easy to be faithful. You're the one that fleshed it out and said, Bruv, it's not think like, about things. You make a conceited effort to do, to, 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 to be faithful. Like, it's not, well, talk with your chest, man. Come it's on. not. It's, <laughs> man, it's not me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. But it's the truth, though. You do, make a conce- you do make a conceited effort to, to be faithful. Like, I would say that most men um, are, have, who are faithful make that effort to do that. It's not something that comes naturally to them. What I don't think it's just men. What I think women? women as well. Um, women are better. They're better at it. I'm only now. speaking for men because I'm one of them. So I don't know how the women's situation goes. So that actor then, you can speak on the women's behalf. Go ahead. Oh my God. But you're the clearest of the group, so really you should. That's, that's for different reasons. I'm, I'm just you're sensitive. You're still sensitive as well. Okay then, so, um, well, Hala, you were going to like, you know, humans make it hard for themselves. Why can't they just be like animals kind of thing? They make, they go to work, they do this and that. They have we'll stick with one person. But you didn't seem happy when Ronaldinho was going to marry two women. I have a problem with Didn't you say that you, 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 you don't know how you feel about this? No. If somebody said that, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. No, I was happy. <laughs> if, was happy if, if he was to marry two women and the two women are happy to marry, let him go and marry no, the two women. See, people like, do you know how this tag has just been attached to me? Yeah. Anytime yeah. that things go in a group chat that is on women's side, oh, well, Holly's going to be on their side. Yeah. Well, Holly's going to be on their side. Yeah. I'm like, well, why? Why won't everybody have to be on the women's you side? You are the feminist of the group. No, I am the equality person. <laughs> it's equality <laughs> control. Well, that is feminism, equality. Anyway, so. Uh, it's new age feminism. Ronaldinho is uh, to marry two women at the same time after living harmoniously with the pair since December. Yeah. So um, what do we feel about polygamy in general? Marrying two or more people or having two or more wives or husbands for that matter. It's kind of equality in in a strange way with this situation because apparently he buys them the same presents. He takes them to the same places. He does everything the same. He's so, only he's younger than me. So Yeah, of course he's. Does so, he do it at the same time? I don't know what he's doing with them. I don't know if he sleeps with both women at the same time. That's one of the things that a lot of people um, get misconstrued about, about with, in polygamy. In polygamy yeah. that they sleep with the same women at the same time. They don't. They sometimes don't. they sleep with one woman, then sometimes they sleep with the other. So sometimes they're even doing shifts, in it? So they, if this man wants to be banging all the time, innit? Shift you have him, you have him on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. I have him on Monday, whatever. whatever. Right. Right. And, then and then sometimes we might, you bang him in the morning, I bang him in the evening. And oh, no, no. no. Uh, okay, let me then read. There's what? menstrual cycles as well. Oh, yes, yes. 
Yeah, yeah, but sometimes if women stick Split, together long they, enough, their menstrual cycle yeah, sync up. They align. Oh, he he's he's living it, bro. So um, <laughs> <laughs> let me read a bit more the, bit more the story. Uh, he's living with the two women in his five million pound mansion in um, Brazil. In, in Brazil, Rio. Uh, he started dating one in 2016. Uh, apparently, he was with one for several years earlier. Uh, according to reports, so it's allegedly, in other words, both lovers receive an allowance of around one, 1500 one, 1, a month uh, to spend. That's not even that much. As they wish. In Brazil, it's, not, it's, it's enough. And then they both work, and one of them has been disowned by her family. This man he, has he probably went in to find out what was going on with the situation. He also reportedly uh, always gives the two exact same presents, including recently buying them the same perfume during a trip abroad together. I wonder if you put them in the same engagement. He will marry the two women at a private ceremony in Santa Monica. I was happy for him, man. He's living his best life, bro. But this is the thing. If, if we're saying if, that that's cool... If you're above you, board with it like that and everybody knows what I'm going for, what I'm going, then I don't see what's wrong If we're you. saying that's cool, is there any women that's got two husbands? I think there was... I read a couple of stories about... Would we, would we be saying the same salute in this woman I for the same there's thing? I think there's like a culture in... I think it's India, of all places, somewhere, somewhere like there, where the women have more than one man. And do we agree with this? Would, would, we, would, would we be okay with this? Because of how... Um, what's the word? Um, what's the, the... Draconian they are. Yeah. yeah. This whole... They're back, when it comes to uh, women's rights <laughs> in them places. <laughs> you say yes, that, of but course. Pakistan had a woman prime minister. Yes, they, yes, they Way did. Way before any, any, uh, some of these, what yeah, they call world developed countries did. All right. Yeah, they were still doing well, shit there. And they're, still, and, they're still, <laughs> and they're still raping and killing and yeah, honor yeah, killing yeah, their, their women at home. They're still so, doing shit there. I'm not going to say that they're not. I just wanted to throw it out there. But... um. Yeah, I'm the, I, I, it, as I'm the feminist, as you say, would we be, would we be saying, yeah, big that woman up if she had two men? Why not? If men can do it, why can't a woman? Would be? you be bigging her up the same way that some men are bigging up? Robert, I'd give know? her props, yeah. I don't think men would be bigging her up. I think she'll be getting told that she's a this and a that. I wouldn't necessarily but label always... her, but I'm like, uh, for me, as much as this two woman thing sounds like it's um it's uh superficial, and I'm just being a lad's lad. In reality. I'm also thinking about like family structure and stuff like that in a funny kind of way. Like, from what I know, the mathematics, and I know bare people are going to roll their eyes now, the mathematics are that the man can impregnate both of those women more times than they could possibly supply eggs for him to impregnate them. And on the other way around, she can't, like, she, a woman has on average about 450 eggs for her entire lifetime. Yeah. And a man makes four million sperm every six hours. What, what, what's your point? So my point is, logistically, by numbers, a man having two wives sustains the idea of... Reproducing. Reproducing. Yeah, but if a woman has two men and one man can only service her at one point in time, let's say that she sleeps with one man... He said and, and he's and the, and the, He busts and he's finished and it don't work. And she's got the next man that busts and he, he finishes, but that one does work. She's got a lot of averages that the, uh, the eggs can be... Uh, fertilized. Yeah, but she'll be pregnant once. Yeah, in What's that wrong time with that period. And what I'm saying is, well, but the, the girl's only going to be pregnant twice. Well, one girl could be pregnant once, and the other one can be pregnant. Yeah, once. but that's two children. Yeah, but so every so what, single so, time, so we should be overpopulating the the planet. I'm not saying about. I'm listen. I just said to you, <laughs> logistically, from how it works out, numbers logistically, wise, pimping yeah, makes but, sense. Yeah, but I'm saying <laughs> if you if you want to do it in that way, if you want to make it that structured, if we are, do you agree that the world is overpopulated? No. You think the, the world isn't overpopulated? The world isn't overpopulated. You think that certain areas are overpopulated? I think, yes. I think when the people say that we're overpopulated, they're talking about the system that we've created to sustain um, life on the planet has does, um, can't scale to the level that the people are growing at. It doesn't mean that we're okay. overpopulated. So let's go with the scale of what we've got at the moment. Let's say that it's not going to change because it's unlikely it is, yeah? Do you think that the world is technically overpopulated? N- uh, no, it's not. Even with the scale that you're saying that we we, yeah. we discovered that they've got in there, yeah, because you still pro- think we got room for expansion. We've got a lot of room for expansion. The pro- the problem is when with the minerals they're allowing that to expand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what what we what people forget when they say, oh, you know, we're overpopulated is if you look at our current system, we have some people who have absolutely no food, and some other people who have so much food that they throw away almost as much. Yeah, as but they I'm talking consume. about the structure. The structure is here. You're, you're changing the structure again. I'm saying with the structure that no, we've got we're now, not, we're not changing the structure. With the poverty and the and the 
and uh, and, uh, and the whatever. We don't have to change the structure. We if we just change our mentality. So okay, the mentality we, doesn't change. No, we can. It is it's how it is. So right. So if that. you're so if you're talking about that, and that's what overpopulation means in that yeah. sense. So yes, right now, yes. so you think they will be overpopulated because it's unlikely. As I said, it's unlikely going to change. No, it will change, but yeah, but it's not going to change in the near future. Yeah. No, it it depends on whose lifetime you're talking about. You're talking I'm, about your lifetime. I'm talking about in, not in the immediate future. I don't think it's going to change. Yeah. Okay. So let's say that going by your rationale. Yeah. Wouldn't it be better? For two men to sleep with the same woman and only have one child for the population purposes. For the overall population purposes. Because it then allows them, the, the people to have their sex, you know, yeah. release themselves. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not happy why that noise. Yeah. Right? Release yourself, but only one child is produced from that. Okay. Yeah, with, but with, 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 this, with this scope of two fathers that could potentially help raise that child. Okay. And then what happens when she's pregnant and the sex can't happen? Why can't the sex happen? Are you now saying that we're pregnant women can't have sex when you're pregnant? The, the two men just get together, innit? Oh God! <laughs> are you telling me that? So you're telling me that pregnant women can't have sex? Uh, are you throwing that out there? Not, not immediately after they've had a child. Not after talking about the pregnant. You're not pregnant after. After but you're towards, towards the, the end as well. There's a period where you can't have no. There okay, well, there's that, that period. Know. Then you have to hold it down, innit? I, I heard you, Webslinger. I just, heard you. I'm just saying. I heard you. I didn't hear you. He said there are other holes. Oh God! Hold it down. Too much, but well, it's like that video. Yeah. The woman was saying, "You got three holes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no two, husband should be two, should be two palms, three holes, and and, and feet. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> she went in. All what, right. Um, what simple? Sorry, let me quickly jump in. What simple saying by definition? If even if the man impregnates the woman, she could have twins or triplets. Hmm? But or imagine you having. Do you imagine pregnant two women with twins and triplets? That's 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 a lot of nappies. <laughs> I'll be saying, innit? I don't even know where this came from. It came from the cheating thing, innit? The yeah. monogamy thing. But then, then, does that mean we 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 also have to change our system then? Because at the moment, we have a patriarchal system that says that children, in most cases, not all, children um, inherit the father's wealth effectively. Mm-hmm. So then, in this situation, then um, these children are gonna. I don't know. It just seems like it's a bit slower. Which children in, in the, the in one, the one, one, one? one woman, one woman, two man situation. What's the difference? You one man after you have the baby. Th- you this take, is this you is take, now confusing. You me, say man, which test I... is which. You know which one is who, and then you take that dad's wolf. Mm, I yeah. don't know. Right, how right. would how would uh, you feel though? I mean, if mass was, production, bro. I'm shelling, bro. If you were the, if you were the two man in that relationship and you couldn't obviously make your woman pregnant, but the other man could, would oh. you be happy to raise the child as well? Well, he's there, isn't it? What am I raising the child with? Well, I would help. You'd help? Yeah, I would help in the household. It takes a village. But it's, it is what it is, isn't it? It if, is what it is. Would you be side eyeing the child or the man? I would push the child down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It is what it is. I could have been I, your daddy. I, I could if, if, if I could, If my sperm was the lazy one and it didn't beat the other one, it didn't beat the other one. <laughs> so that could have been your daddy. <laughs> this, this, this conversation <laughs> is just going in, in directions. Wow, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to try. Wow, bring it back. I'm going to bring it back. And I'm going to give you my own little personal story about what, where I went to this weekend. I went to Afro Republic with my missus. She bought tickets and dragged me along. I didn't know what it was. I don't know none of these artists. This Young Bane, te- Techno. Uh, te- who te- te- techno? Who else was there? Uh, Wizkid, um, yeah, T.R. Savage. Wiz, Wiz, yeah, T.R. Savage. Well, um, no, uh, and um, Notes. Notes. He's the one that we know. Uh, Mr. Dabboy, Easy. Mr. Easy. No, he's... he's Malik Berry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, anyways, so these these artists were there. They were at the O2. They mm. were performing. It was rammed. So every every seat was taken. I mean, is that eighty thousand or something? But well, I don't know. Afro there though. Huh? I said I don't know, but Afro there. So yep, Afro there in full. So now, um, two things I want to mention just quickly, yeah. and uh, yeah. we don't need, we don't need to discuss the first one. The first one is that uh, these people can't perform these days. Mister Easy came with a band. T W Savage came with her dances and and she performed. And um, uh, what's the big man? Wizkid. Wizkid came with a band, dancers, and performed. All right. Uh, T.Y. Savage, I'm oh, sorry, uh, Mr. Easy also came with dancers. Now, these people performed. Yeah. And T.Y. Savage, actually, I, I didn't give her props when I was talking to you earlier. She sang, she performed, she danced, she performed. Um, same thing with Wizkid. T.Y. Savage has no stage presence, but he put on a performance. Mr. Easy. Mr. Easy. What, what did I call him? T.Y. Savage. Savage. I called him Mr. Savage. Mr. T- Mr. Savage. No, you called him T.Y. Savage. Savage. You called him a woman. Um, sorry. Uh, Mr. Easy, Mr. Easy you're mi- you're names. has no stage presence, but he but he he at least put on a performance. The rest of them, 
none of them had the correct backing track. Now, as I explained it to Wahala before we started, when you when you make a track for for a live stage, if you don't have a band, you turn down the vocals, you just leave the chorus on there a bit, you leave any back uh, any um, ad libs, and you sing. None of these people have actual tracks that you're meant to be showing at a concert. They're just rapping over them their things, and they're not even rapping. Most of them were ad libbing. So Young Bane was 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 just ma- uh, miming. So basically, basically, were you saying they were too lazy to show up for soundtrack? I don't know about too lazy. I just don't, I wasn't impressed with with some of the. Was there bo- was there bottom at this place? There was so much bottom. I'm surprised my <laughs> wife did not slap me on the way there. In fact, to be honest, because it wasn't South African and Ghanaian women, a lot of them there was it was a lot of Nigerians and uh, you know they don't win a uh, big bottom Twitter. But anyways, um, there was so much breast on show. It was disgra- It was disgraceful. We saw one of the mans down there, and he was like, "I cannot believe it. it's like it wasn't like this in my day. Just so much breast and so much nipples." And a lot of these breasts is not even even in, in a healthy shape. This is not me saying this. This was what I was heard from other people. Uh, like the breast is sagging because apparently there's apparently the reasons that women's breasts are sagging these days is because they don't wear bras because a lot of the clothes they wear uh, are meant to be worn without bras. Yeah, my missus told me that. So one, two, that's that, that's what that's what I heard from 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 my sister-in-law. So let um, the breasts hang, man. Let them sag. Let them hang. Let them let sag. Them hang. Man. Saki, so, but, saki these are, like, but these are 20 year, 25 year old saggy tits matter saggy tits matter at 25 imagine matter. once they got children and, they, and they're 45 you're assuming that everyone must have perp breasts they don't some no, people no, just no, have no. saggy breasts Wait, don't don't let it come across like I'm I'm attacking the breasts I'm still let, looking let the saggy breasts win <laughs> he said I'll still lick them <laughs> uh, no I said I was still looking oh, okay. oh, c- calm down <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> man turn it around I you know what you still he, would have, he would have gone away and said that that's what I said as well and then you know what he would do he would argue when I said I didn't say that he's like yes you did I would argue that I would argue that. Isn't there a correct breast exercise to do to keep your breast perk? I don't fucking listen. know. You yes. people need to la- Push allow, allow saggy breast women to live, bro. Nobody's saying push-ups. that they can't live. Yeah. Where do, why are you coming to now be a defender of the earth? That somebody, like, somebody, somebody told that they can't live. Man said defender of the earth, you know. The I, I just, <laughs> I just, Where's I just your Captain ring? Captain Planet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the second thing was, of magic um, it was, I reckon, 90% women, maybe. 85, 90% women. Uh, 95% black. There was a, a mix of Asians and whites there. And it was funny you see the whites. The white, the Asians were in couples. A lot of them were in couples. Yeah, so you saw the Asian man and the Asian woman. All right. Now the whites that were like there, Arvinda. you you had your odd white man. Did you say Parvinda? I said Parvinda, but yeah, we got Parvinda too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You had your odd white man scattered around. Oi. All right. Oi. Um, Parvinda. You had a couples uh, like two girls that came as as Cody's, a couple of them, and a couple of white girls that came with with, with their bedrooms. Now, out of that crowd, I would say ninety plus percent looked like they were single, and if they weren't single, they weren't with their partners. Okay, all right. So you just you you were there with your girls, or you were there with your boys. That's what a lot of it was. Okay. Now, the couples that I could see. So like the ones that were hugging up to their missus like I was hugging up to mine. I saw you know a couple of people hugging up or dancing together the whole night. The ones I saw, now this is just the ones I saw. Not some, not half, most of them were white women with black men. Okay. And I was just like, is it that they, they were too scared to come by themselves? That's why they come. And most of the couples were mixed relationship couples, or mixed, mixed racial couples. And I thought that was interesting in Afro Republic, because on the stage they were just big enough. I can't believe this. We've, Africa, we've done it. We've done it. We've put up the O2. It's just Africans, Africans. And I was like, but these are all these mixed relationships. The people that are actually together are not with other Africans. Was Tracy putting her hand up saying, "Excuse me, Mister Wizkid, I'm from Plumstead." Them <laughs> Stephanie. I love England. <laughs> I'm not I'm actually African. So, what's your question? I just do you have a thought on that or is, am I just picking on something? Am, am I being a racialist? It's a racial relationship. No, I, I got no problem with 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 that. I thought it was interesting that because you hear a lot of women saying black men don't want us, and when I saw the black men, in, so like I said, most of the the people there were weren't in relationships. Mm. It was ninety percent plus or oh, eighty five to ninety percent women. Mm. So they weren't based in in essence there weren't hardly any men there anyways. Mm. And then most of the men that I saw there that seemed to be in a relationship. Well, with white women. Well, that would indicate Most. That, that black men don't want to take their women to concerts. That wouldn't mean anything else about the fact that they don't have... Because as you said, those 90% women or whatever could have had their man at home. Or, maybe, maybe, or maybe. there were a number of side chicks there so certain men didn't want to go audition in case they get caught out. It's your boy. Because <laughs> uh, when women say black men don't want us, they want the exotic looking... Um, 
Uh, I mean, you know, Tracy's women, not Tracy's not exactly. Living, but, please, well, please. Or, or, the, not, or, or they want the white woman. Rebecca is not. You didn't, let, you didn't let me finish. Hampstead is an exotic place. They want the exo- exotic woman that doesn't. What's the word? Racially am- ambiguous woman, or mm-hmm. they want a white woman. I always say, nah. Me and me, me and me and Mr. Wolf is always no nah, man. We want a black woman. But if you went by what I saw at Afro Republic, I could have argued the numbers. Most of the men that seem to be in a relationship were not with black women. But that means they just took them out. I don't get what you're saying. Were they dark, I, I were was, they, uh, were they dark skin men? Let's get colorism with it. Were they were dark, dark skin. A lot of them had them, them twists. Them, them, twi- them footballer you know, twists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So them, them, them kind the of Ivory Coast, no. Ivory Coast Senegalese man then. Where? I don't know. They, but they, they, a lot of them had a pattern. See, put, put it this way. A lot, of the, a lot of the mans were the kind of man shots fired. that I wouldn't think black woman would would be um, attracted to in the first place. Okay. That, that's, that's just what I, that's from looking. I don't know why. What, Cause they didn't they they didn't dress with with the, the kind of swag that I think a black woman is usually attracted to. That's now you know you're talking about a black I mean, so woman. That was then. a white woman. You don't know about now, bro. You don't know about what black black girls like now. They like these guys that wear these torn dis- is it distressed jeans. The way they call it, it's yeah, distressed. distressed jeans. I don't know what happened when jeans started to have some form of emotion. But anyway, but um yeah, so they well, they like these guys that do these types of stuff. So I'm you be the therapy. Okay, let me let, let, let's just move. I, 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 I think we're too old for this. I think I've picked up on something that clearly I, I was just reading into something that was no. Yeah, I'm not, I, I think it's a good uh, observation to talk about, but I just think it not necessarily mean that their the relationships is not happening. Because it just I, means that they're not taking them out. Yeah, I just was I wasn't looking for this. It's just I just so happened to see a lot of men holding hands with. White women as well, and then I, I met and some, then, some then, black men then, don't hold hands. And then I started actually paying attention. I don't usually hold my woman's hand, exactly. We, we, yeah, but because we're in a, that kind of venue, I hold her hand so we don't lose because it's crammed in it. And we, when we're moving, I'm holding your hand oh, so we don't. We, we, yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't want to. It's like it's like carnival. Isn't it? It's like carnival. Even men them like have their own masculine way you where you hold each other's own. shoulders when you're walking by. You don't want to lose track of people. It's a cramped place. I don't want to lose your girl. I want to know <laughs> since since when <laughs> since when did, did black women not be considered exotic? Black women are exotic, man. Shit. Well, to what they don't like being considered exotic because usually it's a white man saying it. Would you black men call black other black women exotic? It's normal to us, isn't it? Yeah. It depends yeah. on where they should come from. They might call them exotic. So if a black woman, if you come from London. And you're talking about a black woman from maybe somewhere like uh, Cape Dominican, Verde, yeah, Dominican Republic oh. or something like that. They may call you exotic, oh. but then they'll be fetishizing you same way in it. So Cape Verde. Did you oh. just <laughs> move across a little bit? What's wrong with you, blacks, man? No, Cape Verde, man. Oh, <laughs> man, just released it's the your boy. Easy. All right, before we talk about Morgan Freeman, oh God, I just want to play something that I, I thought was quite interesting, and we're going to talk about uh, Babes Wadumi. What what do I? The one that doesn't scan, can it? Yeah, uh, there's something about her. Um, but let me let me play this. It wasn't long before Tony and I realized he was. <laughs> he crawled through a quarter mile of shit. Can you imagine him doing this to these women though? Chatting this chat. I am Morgan Freeman. Right. I'm about to insert my penis inside you. <laughs> I didn't get consent. Go any further. I don't think, I don't think I would that. like to call on all men in our country to join in a self-negation war against toxic masculinity and patriarchy. By masculinity, I mean how we perform our manner of being men to women. The women who gave birth to us, who grew us up, women we claim to love, women who work with and for us, and all the young women out there, young girls out there. We men must fight against the violent way of being men to these women. We must call each other out and never protect abusers in our midst. Women's bodies are not made for us. We have no entitlement to them, even if we pay Lobola or Mavuso. A woman's no means no. Each man must confront the culture of rape, and it starts with confronting yourself, facing the darkness in us that is perpetuated by the widespread and sometimes celebrated impression that women's bodies are mere tools of sexual satisfaction and making babies. This is the foundational attitude for a widespread culture of violence against women. It must stop. And each man tonight must say, it stops with me. To all the ladies out there, remember at all times, love without justice is evil. I, th- I think man put that very eloquently. I also agree with you. But he yeah, did succinctly deliver that line. Can I, that was one minute, 20 seconds of... Can I ask you a question? Bars. Can I ask you a question? From your your knowledge, which might not be vast, just like mine, who do you think in Africa is the most progressive 
men. Who do you think has got the most uh, regarding this type of situation? Well, they have no idea. When you say progressive regarding the situation, what as in who's the most aggressive males to women in no, Africa? Progressive, I said, not aggressive. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. What's wrong with this guy? But the progression of aggression. No, and the progression of as in we're we're looking to make equality for women, making sure that they're okay. We're not using them as some as like what you were saying there. You're not mm. you're not for us. You're not our tool to do what we please with and whatever. You're not. We don't own you. What that type of stuff. who do you think? No idea. I don't yeah. think anyone's got an idea. I don't know. We'd all be talking from a complete place of ignorance. Ignorance Ethiopia. is good. Ignorance is good. You think Ethiopia, why? Ignorance is good. Yes, That's like saying evil <laughs> is good. <laughs> in, this, in this situation, it is, man. Let's just say, ah. What happened? What happened? <laughs> Did you get a wedgie? You know when your 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 balls is stuck to something and you say, ah, that pain was so bad. Good, good. <laughs> you see, I wish you could see me smiling here. Ah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, sorry, simple. That was God doing that, boy. What? Was it not you talking? No, he yeah, said was, Ethiopia. No, you said Ethiopia. I said Ethiopia, yeah, yeah. And I said, what about Ethiopia? Yeah, I think I think maybe Ethiopia. But why? I don't know. I get the impression that their society is a little bit more... A little bit more mature than the rest of African society. Um, That might not necessarily be um a striking good thing to say that they're they're out of the dark ages, but I think they're a little bit more more progressed than the rest of Africa's. Mm. Or from what I know of the rest of Africa anyway. Well, African men. Mm, okay. I they, know I know we've been sorry. They dance with their shoulders over there, so they don't really <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's different, isn't it? Like from you start dancing with your shoulders, it's different. You're obviously not gonna you don't think the same way as everybody else because we all do waist. We all do that waistline dancing which involves, you know, Gyrating your hips and all that kind of stuff. So we, that area it's a main is, cooler, isn't so, it? Yeah. So there's, there's, there's no sexual movement at the shoulder level. At the shoulder level, the oh, 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 look at them shoulders. Yeah, seduce you know, with oh, your shoulders. Yeah, they they might, you know, oh. Better at cunnilingus and that. They got the training and that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think a woman would say, "Oh, look at his trapezius. It's lovely." <laughs> oh, look at his collarbone. Oh. Oh. Well, so, what was the reason why you brought up this video anyway? Well, okay, before before we get into this uh, Morgan Freeman thing then. This thing is is linked to it. So Babes Wodumo is uh, a Guam artist. Sorry. She uh, nice. Yeah. yeah. I thought she just danced. I didn't know she actually made tunes. No, those are her songs. Ah. But with her ex-boyfriend, Manfinso, Mam I think his, his name was. We're slow any South African names. Yeah. yeah. So, um, not you, sorry. Man. I, I know she was like, Actively vexing me for, for the way I said certain words before, but I, I can't do your language, man. And even if, I, I, to be honest, I probably could if you did it right before I said it. With anyone without that, <laughs> anyone without that. So, anyways, so you can't do Corsa names. You can't do Corsa names, no, uh, and no Zulu or nothing. So, mm. Babes Wadumo is uh, is an artist that let's say South African house, and she she dances a lot in the videos. So that's why my brother reckons. Now she she had a couple of songs on the Black Panther soundtrack or, or in, in the film so the, the the South African house you would have heard would have been her songs with her now ex-boyfriend who I think was uh, maybe the, the label owner or something like that so not only did they work together they they put they were going out now she was on an interview on a South African radio station Metro FM now she doesn't speak English very well she speaks uh, Isu Zulu so she speaks Zulu the Zulu language and uh, I think the way the language, the way they talk on this um, radio is that they speak in English. So even if you, if, if the people that speak in English, even if you speak back in your own native language, they still speak back in English. But I guess because there are a few uh, languages in South Africa, they want everyone to understand it. Now, it's come out that potentially she was going through some sort of domestic abuse. And she went to the interview just to talk about general artist stuff. Yeah. Them lot went down this road. And uh, I want to play a little clip of it now, if you don't mind. Keep playing clips. I know, but it's not too bad. But, babes, you know, I think it needs to be said because I hate to see a young woman as talented, as smart as you, living in so much fear, babes, what do you want? Right? You don't have to answer this question, but we all know because we've heard from multiple sources, people who've witnessed the fact that you have been physically abused by Mam Pincha. That he has beaten you in your relationship. And right now, and I'm sorry, but right now you're sitting here, you're scared and you're worried about what's gonna happen next. Because 
because you told us a tiny little truth, which is the fact that he went onto your Instagram and posted a picture without your permission. And it's deeper than that. And I can see it in your eyes, you're still suffering. And I don't want you to continue to suffer. Mam Pincha has no right to put his hands on you. It's unacceptable. You obviously have a lot of decisions to make, babes. Um, what do you feel like doing next? What do you feel like doing next? Um, hey, I'm I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a natural answer to give. Because she's not speaking English. Um, when, when two people have, have shared what you've shared and the relationship has gone to where it's gone. And I mean, I can see the terror in your body language. That's why I was asking, are you okay? Because it's that obvious. And you don't know this, babes, but I have a very close friend of mine who took you in the day Mam Pincha punched you in the face Ooh. and you were bleeding from why your nose. Why is this nose. woman exposing this whole woman's business? And you needed refuge. You don't even know that I know that story. What the? You don't know that I, I know like from someone else that he broke your leg. Babes, we live in a country where women are getting killed left, right, and center. All right, I'm going to stop it there. So basically, that, that, that was the interview. Now, before I tell you how she reacted to that later on, I want to hear what you guys think. So basically, she's gone to she's she's an artist. She's gone to a radio station. I think it's one of the biggest radio stations in in South Africa. And the host, this is a, this is a drive time show, have come out with, with like this. That's what, an what, ambush, what do you think? What do you that's think? That's an ambush, man. That's an ambush, bruv. That is an ambush. There's there's a part I don't think she I don't know if you heard it or if 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 I let it get to that bit where she said I don't even care if I get any clap back from from the uh, from the station. I'm go, I'm gonna say what I need to say. No 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 no. We didn't hear that bit. But that that. that that was a setup, man. No, you. That was not nice at all. It's not your truth to be to be telling. It's not. It's not nice. At, it's not even like to say she had replied at some point and they were talking about it. Mm. Then she mentioned that other stuff about punk being punched in the face. It's like it's almost like she wanted to out her. If you're yeah. trying to if you're trying to help her, that's not the way you help someone. Yeah, that's not your truth to be telling, man. That, not, not like that. Not not so public. If you wanted to have a discussion with her about what's going on with her life, you take that off air and you have a discussion about her about what's going on with her life to make. It looks and seemed like you actually care about her and not just the ratings that come with you it. You didn't even bring her on the show to talk about domestic violence. It wasn't even like that. Do you know what I mean? You took, nah, that, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I, I will say, just um, before that, I think it was kind of like known that they might have broken up before she came on. So I, I, I guess people would say, well, you, you know, you, you two are two of the biggest artists in South Africa. We're, we, we're going to talk about your breakup. You know? Breaking up is so, a different thing to that. So, sorry, that. Yeah, but we don't even know what they... What, the station organizers or even they discussed what is on the table what we can and what we can't talk about and babes didn't make any reference to say no i don't want to talk about it or pull back or anything like that she, she didn't say anything it, bro. she, she allowed the choice. conversation yeah. to happen yeah. unfortunately it, you people listening can't hear, see the video but she looked pretty yeah, meek, looked meek very, there very, like yeah timid she, she said something in there that as far as i'm concerned indicated exactly what was going on she said even the little thing that we said or something you felt in, in fear that because of what one little thing that we said earlier so i don't know what she said to her earlier or something that she said that made her feel like oh i don't want you to say this because i'm in fear about my, what happened to me if you know that she's in fear from just a little thing why, why are you coming out with all the small stuff after but then why come on the show to have that discussion at she all? didn't go she on the show for that she could have nipped it in the bud she could have said i don't want to talk yeah, about but this. she didn't know if somebody says something to you and you don't know what to do and it's already out now did that woman look like she was giving her any chance to her to say anything? She was hitting her with... But she could still say, I don't want to talk about it. You can make a gesture. You could put a hand up. If Why bro, wasn't anybody bro, from her management bro, there saying, bro, no, we don't want to talk all about this all I'm saying, all I'm, saying to you, all I'm saying to you is this, yeah? You see fear. Fear makes people react in different ways, isn't it? Yeah. So mm. she looked like she was Bambi in the headlights on that one because it caught her off guard. But even from her non-response, then it would have been down to the radio station host to say, okay, I see you're feeling a bit... Yeah, but she didn't. That's the point. She just went at her. That's that's what we're saying. That's what's what's really wrong with this. That was an attack. Blatantly an attack. And I think that she's... uh, Sorry, I think it's an attack. Not even... Partially on her, but she... I got... She don't like the other guy, obviously, because of the situation. And she wants that guy to be got. So she was using this woman as a scapegoat to try and out the guy. Get that other guy. In a way. Let it be understood for the record that we're not saying that the guy should be getting a blight at all. But no. the way this woman has done this thing is not... It's that's not right. For the, not, for the lady, that's her truth. Yeah. She should be able to tell her truth. Not somebody else come out and force her into telling her truth. It's not even false because as we heard, 
at the time, she didn't say anything. So the, she didn't force it to yeah, say. So anything. we don't even it's know like, the truth. I I exposed. Uh, well, okay, let me let me. Flesh so when the Williams now. business. Man. So what happened was later on, she did get clapped back from the public, like basically saying what you guys have said. Like how do, how could you just? This is her business to expose or not to expose. You know, it's not it's not righteous for you just to put out all our business over the radio. But it seems that um, post this interview, babes. Wadumo has been very supportive of what's ha- actually happened. She's reposted these clips herself. I've, I've found these clips through her social media. Mm-hmm. She's, um, when people are saying, I support what this um, DJ did. Sorry, I, 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 didn't, I didn't catch her name. Um, I support her. She's retweeting all of those things. Like we need to, we need to out these people that do these kind of things. We can't, we can't support them by keeping silent because keeping silent is some sort can, of support. I can completely so she's re- agree She's that. retweeting all of these things. She's not saying anything herself. No. But ev- everything supporting what this DJ did, she seems to be. Re- I completely it. agree that you need to out these people. Same way that we need to out our Kelly. Same way that you need to out all of these perverts that's in the industry. Out them. But what I'm saying is, you had her there. You could have asked her, "Are you prepared and able for me to tell this thing?" And it didn't look like she. What, we don't know. But from what that videos look like, she didn't ask that question. And that's what I think is wrong. You should ask her. So that's why I played I played that thing earlier on because I don't know if there's like a a big. Uh, our resident South African uh, correspondent will be able to tell us more. But it seemed like from that video and from what this woman said and from, because I was going through the DJ's social media as well and the way she's going in is like, this stuff is rife in South Africa. Mm. This, this DV is rife in South Africa. We can't, we're basically, DV is we, rife like, in Africa we need we need to join the, the Me Too movement as well kind of thing. Like it's, it's popping off over there. Let's join in. Let's use this opportunity now as women to stand up and defend our sisters that are going through DV and to not let it be normalized to to, to call these people out. So I think she, I do think, like while I said, I think I, it seems like she took this opportunity to say, you know what, this is one of the biggest artists in this country. She's going through this. This is this is a chance for us to say she's left. Finally, she seems to have broken up with this person because she seems much younger than he does. Like she's. She, she. It does look like it's a relationship where maybe I don't know, maybe there could have been some grooming along the lines because she seems real young. How old is this babes would do? Let me let me find out. Because when I look at her, she doesn't look like a young woman to me, boy. She does to me. Is this the same woman that dances in the videos? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But does she, does she wear wigs sometimes then? With the one yeah. foot. No, I think she colours her. I don't think it's wigs. I, I think, oh, okay. but it, whatever it is, she's always got red or green hair or whatever it is. It is. You know what? This this links onto something that I was actually asked. I actually asked it on Twitter to just today. And it's about obviously new age feminism and such, and how they um how they think about stuff. Well, kind of like twenty three, twenty three. Okay. She's twenty three. Then she looks it. If I'm thinking about the same woman, I don't think she looked twenty three. She don't look like the twenty three to me. But um, so I was asking the question about um, is that the same woman that dances not, in the bar? That's her manner. Well, she looks different, man. She, she looks, looks different. She, she, well, the one that she does one one foot and she goes down on. And she went. She, and she, oh no, no, yeah, no! That's what, that's, what we think about. that's what we think we're talk, she's talking no, about. No, that's why I keep saying this is the artist. That's why I asked you. She that's, artist. Yeah, that's what I think. We're not talking about the same woman. Fair enough, there. Yeah. So then, um, I don't know that woman's name. <laughs> I don't know her. I don't know her. Name. I she's her a, name she just dances. She's, she's not even an artist. She's she's like a. That's what I just said. She's like the Ka- Kardashian of South Africa. I yeah. thought I thought Ooh. she was she's Zimbabwe, but I thought her name was Babes with them. I didn't know. I didn't know that. We're just getting them Africans mixed up. Oh, that's not good. But um, so I was saying to on Twitter, I was asking the question basically, um. In this new age feminism that people are going on, talking about with you know changes and stuff that's going around, mm. what what is our thoughts on on dowries? What should a woman pay a dowry to to the men's family? No, well, so there's some kind of that happens anyway. I'm talking about with regards to men paying a dowry to the woman's family to take ownership of the woman. Well, that's something that's tradition. So you're asking to change tradition. But we're saying is that tradition uh, a, a problem? That's the question I'm asking. I think the interpretation of the of the tradition can be a problem. I think if you if you look take it away from money and look at it from the point of view that um you've taken away one extra mouth from the house, which is also an extra able pair of hands mm. that would help in the house. And then as part of an exchange, you then uh show that family that you are able to look after this person that you're taking out the family well that's because that, that's the that's what I thought it was to be that yeah. it was the case of that you, you are, your whole point of the diary is to show that you can provide for the person that you're taking mm. yeah but again in I, this, I in, see it more as like a a, a payment almost so you like you you're, 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 because I know in this in, 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 in Europe I know in Western Europe what it was is that 
I not only do I need to show I can provide, is that I'm taking your daughter off your hands, and this is the the token that I'm giving you to almost enough you know, enough pay for your daughter. So I'm taking you away from her. She's mine now. Here's your payment. Leave me alone to deal with my wife. This is why, it's almost like in religious terms, it's like once the the daughter leaves the father, it's not my place to in, intrude anymore. It's almost I, I've, you've paid for her. It's your business now. That's why a lot of mothers and fathers historically will say, "Leave us out of your internal business." It's not my, it's not our business anymore. Yeah, but then I don't know if the, if I don't know if it's if it's if a payment thing like that because as far as I know, with well, Nigerian families at least, when somebody when a daughter marries out. As much as I mean, in my in my own tradition, you may not be liable for the stuff on your dad's side, but you now join another family, and the family join together. Like we have to meet the other family, we have to agree that you can actually get married to that other family. Mm. And after you are married, the relationship doesn't stop there. Do you know what I'm saying mm. to you? So I don't know. It's just a bit weird that this idea is that you you've bought the woman. Yeah, but I think a lot of people that's how they see it as the, you've this payment for the woman. Isn't it I a half for my is, queen? Is it more a half and half thing? Because I, I mean, I know from going to a labola in, in South Africa, initially when you meet the parents, they both meet each other. It is to agree that, right, you're joining these two families. You can afford to take my daughter off my hands. I don't have to worry about her upkeep. Her. Yeah, I don't have to worry about her having any issues or any problems. But you're also joining the family and bringing wealth to the family as well, added wealth. Yeah, but in the video, if you notice, the man mentioned that. He was like, just because, it was the pronunciation? Labola. labola. You are saying, because you've had a labola doesn't mean you're not owned a woman. Mm. So I think the interpretation, maybe are not being, tradition is not being passed down the way that it's supposed to be passed down. And maybe the, the way that people are seeing it in 2018. Possessively, isn't it? Yeah, it's now yeah. you are possessed. I possess you because I paid for you type thing. And that has, a, as I said, even before when I was talking about the different type of mentalities that we put into people's heads, certain things like that will make a man feel like, well, I own you now so I can do as I please. Same way when I was talking about the mentality of that people, are, when you say that, you know, you can just go and bang as many women as you like. It's a mentality that women are not worth that much that you can spread your whatever you're doing with whatever you're doing you understand what I'm saying so I think whenever you want to um, talk about women's rights and in the situation that, that we've discussed before mm. I think you need to put it the way that, that uncle put it in that, in that can you imagine the man was reading the news with, 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 beret. with, with, with beret legend but the way he put it, it, it you couldn't argue it it was indisputable it was like shut your mouth don't argue you can't argue with but it. there's still many men that would argue that's I don't, how they would argue. I don't ignorance know. Ignorance, though, isn't it? They're but you, but you, that's not the way. That's not the way that we do things. That's what you hear straight away. That's, that's not the way. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. That's ignorance. That's I can happen that way. It's my wife. Isn't I can do what I, I like. I do what it's I want. It's my wife. If I want to pit her, I'll pit her. No, it's so, not your wife. There is many, many African men that will clearly, in front of everyone, say, if I want to beat my wife, I will beat her. And that would be it. He wouldn't even think that they said anything yeah. wrong. I was on a Not Every Day podcast last week, big, bigging themselves up, and we kind of touched on this. And he said that there's still, I don't know if this was during the podcast or before, actually, but he basically said that there's still men out there that say you cannot rape your wife. Yeah, was it on the yeah. podcast? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's like, you can't there's rape many, your wife. There was a whole thing on Twitter just the other day about men saying, can you rape your wife? You know, if your wife told you no and you have sex with her, is it rape? People are asking that question like it's a real legitimate question to ask. But it was in part of law that at one point, that you could rape your wife and you wouldn't be raped. Mm. Yeah. And it wasn't even just in this country. It was in quite a few countries yeah. that was the case. And it shows you the level I think of India's the last one to come back into into sorting that out. Okay, so I'm going to link this into another question. Go on. Can I link it? Because this law... Yeah, I was just going to... This law that you, you, you... Okay, we just ex- established, yeah? That this law... Yeah. Was made, I'm assuming, by men. Yeah? We're okay. going to say that it's men, most likely, yeah? Yeah, more than likely. That said that you can rape your wife without... Yeah. You know any repercussions? Any repercussions? Right. So, in Ireland, they now they had the referendum. Was it not? Yeah, they had a referendum about, last weekend in Ireland about the rights on of whether Friday. or not a woman can or can't have an abortion. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know my thoughts on abortion. Kind of. Yeah. yeah right. And I'm 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 not I don't like abortions. You're uh, so, so, hold on. Before you say you don't like your fault, some people don't know your fault. So, okay. So you're uh, not pro-choice. I uh, know it's not a case I'm not pro-choice. I just don't like. I, I, I think you could do what you want with your body. Mm. I don't like abortions. Okay. If I could, if I could, if I could have people, let me you, explain. No, let you, me explain what I'm saying. Let me, let me don't explain. talk for me in it. Your I'm first line was you. You're let not him saying land, you're not pro-choice. Let him land. But let him land. I know. I know he's. Let rude. him land. He is the opposite. Let, let, him, let land. him explain. You just said explain. All it I said was so the people that don't know. He could have overlapped me talking. Let him land. Land your plane. Your weak ass plane. So I'm saying like this. If 
I, if you, if you, I think you can do what you want with your body, and I'm not. I, I don't want you to do what you want with your body, but you can do what you want with your bodies. I'm never gonna say that you can't. But I just, I'm pro child. Does that make sense? Mm, I think pro that, life. I think that every child should have the right to be born. Right. That's my opinion. Mm. But I also don't think that I have the right to tell you that you can't have an abortion. Does that make sense? Okay, but we did discuss this earlier on this season. This season, yes, and and, I, and if you notice, my answer changed at the time when I said, I, "If you ask me, you ask me, would I get rid of it?" And I said yes. But then after I said, I don't, "But I don't want to get rid of it. I want you to be. I would get rid of it only if everybody was happy with it. But nobody kept everybody happy with it." Huh? I know. I've uh, what I re- so let, tell me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. I remember I saying, um, "Would we stop the law, or would we, uh, if if we could control it?" Would we make abortion illegal? And I think you said you would. Yeah, but then, then I had a whole and, other thing after that. Well, I was cause, like, because because I I view you, I'm the same as you. I don't agree with abortion, but then I said I don't think I would make it illegal. And you accused me of being like a hypocrite. How can you no, say I you don't agree no, with no, it? No, no, that's not what actually happened. Because I actually listened to it the other day. So mm-hmm. it doesn't actually happen. Okay, I on. argued with the fact that I was saying I would if I could ban. If you said do it, I have to be able to, like you didn't give me any choice. I said if it was a choice, then I would, I would say you know what. He said to me, Are you, you would ban it or you would keep it. I said, I would prefer, if, if it had to be the case that I would prefer that the child had to be born, I would prefer to keep it. So the child would be born. So if I had to ban it, I will ban it. Right? Or but whatever. You but, would, oh, okay, let me finish talking. Anyway, I don't know why you're bringing it back. You should have just let me just carry on saying what I was saying. I don't understand why you, you're you now reverting it back to whatever happened in the past. But, so basically, you're pro-life, but you're still happy to let the woman decide to do whatever she wants to do with her body. Yes, I'm Pro- pro-child. Pro-life is when you... Uh, I, I I think is is uh, the incorrect term, but pro-life is when you say the woman has a choice. It's not when you care about the child. So what's the other one? Pro-whatever? They, 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 I don't know what the other term is, but pro-life is when you're saying the woman gets to decide what she wants. That's pro-life. I don't know. That's pro Well, let me check before I'm chatting rubbish. But um, anyways, continue with, with the, the story in general because there was a question behind okay, this. So you know, you're the one that took it to yourself. No, because there was a reason yes, why I was explaining it. But you, now you've, st- I can't even remember what I was explaining. You were talking about I- Ireland and how they were having a referendum, and then you said you know how I feel, and you started blah blah blah, and I said, yeah, well, instead of just let me well, finish. Don't, anyway. don't say you know how you feel then. All right, so um. So we know we know your. Are you upset with me now? For what? We kind know, of because we, you just let me instead of just letting me just do what I was doing. You just messed me up, and now I can't remember what I'm saying. Anymore. I can finish every time, innit? You finish when I, you do I your get, questions. You, no, questions. When you do your questions, you do get to finish. It's so, only after your questions nobody wants to hear you. Anymore. So we know your thoughts on abortion. So yeah. So anyway. So then um yeah. So I was having a discussion with somebody about this regarding this, and um we was discussing whether or not um the question that came up was whether or not men. Mm. should have been allowed to vote in this referendum about whether or not a woman can or cannot have an abortion. Mm. I was wrong, by the way. Whether it was a good idea or not a good idea. Well, pro-life. Pro-life, I was wrong. It's okay. the exact opposite. Pro-choice. Pro-life and pro-life. What did I say? Pro-life or pro-choice? I can't remember. You said pro-life. Oh, sorry. Pro-life is when you want uh, that you oppose the idea of abortion. And pro-choice is when you agree with the idea of letting a woman have a choice to do it. Sorry. Yeah. So anyway, so... Yeah, so I'm not against pro-choice. I'm, a, I'm pro-life. Does that make sense? So I think you got the choice. You can have the choice, but I would prefer a baby to be born. Mm. Does that make sense? It makes sense, but it's not the correct terminology. Okay, I don't care about the terminology. Okay, okay, all right. But um, anyway, so then, so there, so the question was going whether or not you know men should be allowed. Men should to be allowed vote. to have that, have that, um, that basically that a chance to vote. It's my sperms. See now, this is what in my head, in the conversation I was having in my head, I said this. Yeah, I think men should have the right to be involved in these types of decisions yeah but i don't think that they should why not because just what i was saying to you guys just a minute ago men when they usually make these types of decisions do not have women's intentions the best intentions in the heart just like when they said that you can rape a woman as a wife and it's not a problem historically they do not have the intentions of women in heart when they make these types of decisions so that's why i'm a bit like no because you're not going to do it for the woman, you'll do it for what you think is best for you. But on the reverse side, I, I think that because stuff like that is the reason why men have a um a uh, disconnect with their children. Because it's always seemed like the choice for children has got nothing to do with the man. Because it's been taken away by a woman. I think when I don't know about taken away, but this the choices is not... It, people that see the choices for women, I mean, for children to be the woman's choice and it's but up to the woman. So, so if, if... So essentially you're saying if I give up my sperm, 
I have no right to it once it's once you're fertilizing my sperm. I don't have no rights to say how you should rear it or how you should do anything. At the moment, that's actually how it is. I don't believe that should be. I don't believe that's right. Again, if uh, it depends. Okay, so what are you then with this situation? Because in in the end, that's almost exactly what it is. It's a woman's body. She has the right to do what she wants mm. with it, I'm ag- whether or not your sperm is in there or not. Yeah, I'm ag- I'm against abortion, but on the same on the same hand, if if you've got my sperm and you're growing my child inside you, I should have a right to an, have an opinion in what happens. Yeah, your opinion, but then this opinion is law now, isn't it? It's not just an opinion. Mm. So in this situation here, it's like if you if you and your missus have have a baby, you have a right to say to your opinion, I, I don't want this baby or I do want this baby, mm. yeah? In the end, the woman's going to be the one that makes the decision as to whether or not that baby is kept or aborted, yeah? In the, in, the, in, 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 the, in, in our normal society, yeah. yeah? Whereas in this situation, it's not just you and your missus. Mm. It's the whole, it's the whole of, of, night, yeah, of, yeah. of Ireland. Yeah. So it's like extrapolate that one situation to the whole of Ireland. What is your thoughts on that? I kind of feel like um, the argument that men shouldn't have a vote, I I can understand where they're coming from with regard to it. But I would say that maybe that they should, everyone should have a vote and maybe we should have a tiering system on how much a vote is valued. So that let's say, for example, a woman's vote is, for easy numbers, because I'm shit with them, a woman's vote would be worth double a man's vote. You understand what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. So kind of like how the American electoral system works, where um, Donald Trump became president, but Hillary Clinton actually won the popular vote, and it was the electoral college that put Donald Trump in front. The same kind of thing to be with this. So basically, the men should have a right to vote. They vote what they vote, but the women in the end should make the, the end of the decision. Is that because they do double the work or something? No, I'm saying it because as much as I, I think the man, I think a man's opinion in this is valid for the reasons you said about him giving his intellectual property to a woman mm. and her deciding what she's going to do with it. But because it's his intellectual property... Man I'm just so, called sperm intellectual that's, property. That's precisely what it is. It is. Goddamn 47. It's DNA. That is coding. That is precisely what it is. That is a cipher. You give somebody your cipher. I just don't know if, if, if I've ever heard it called like that before. But it's, 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 <laughs> Take my intellectual property. <laughs> Can you sign this contract, please? <laughs> so what I'm saying, so I think they should have a say. Um, maybe the weighting of that say shouldn't be as much as um, women, but I still think they should have a say. Okay. What do you think, Steph? Well, going back to something you said about when men make the decision, they're not looking at the woman's you know, point of view. Divorce. I, I think that... No, no, not divorce. No, 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 no. I'm thinking... There's two ways you look at it. You look at it from the woman's point of view or from the child's point of view. Because you wouldn't are you voting for the woman or are you voting for the child's benefit? Because I'm not vote, I'm not voting for the woman's benefit. If if I was to make a vote, if I disagree with um, abortion, it's because the child has should have the chance to be born. So it's got nothing. It doesn't. Act, so as bad as it might sound, I, I, it doesn't actually have anything I, I to do. I slightly with think the it's woman. got nothing to do with man, woman, or child. This is all to do with religious benefit. Because they're highly Catholic. Well, okay then. So let me let me let me let me flesh things out then. Um, so this vote now isn't it's the same as the referendum for the uh, Brexit in in this country. It wasn't necessarily to make the decision whether it's this or that. Now it's just that we now have the opportunity to change the laws. So the laws haven't necessarily been changed, but they will be changed after this um, referendum. Because in Ireland, this is so Northern Ireland hasn't changed by the way. Northern Ireland is still uh, very Catholic, but uh, they're saying that the Irish stronghold on Ireland itself is changing. Historically, Ireland had a very Catholic background, very strong. You know, the church and the state were almost more or less the same thing. Whereas now, due to a lot of the uh, the insidious stuff that's been going on in the church, it seems to have fractured between the people and the youngsters. Even though they count themselves as Irish, they, they, they were like the first Western country to um, support and to make it legal to have gay weddings in Ireland. A Catholic country of, of all places. So they're, they're changing the way things are now. But the, the law before was that if a woman, it was effectively illegal for a woman in Ireland to have a pre- to have an abortion unless it was basically going to kill her or it, some sort of mental pro- issues. I, I don't even know what the mental thing was, but it would have been a mental thing. So a lot of them would come to England. Punishable, punishable by up to 40 years in prison. Jesus. Which is more than you could get for rape in Ireland. But it has never been actually, um, yeah, it's never been enforced. Nobody's ever been done for an abortion but the point was that was a law so now they're effectively going to change it so what you talk, talked about religion it's changed now a lot of the people are saying that you mm. know 
we're not like that anymore. We're we're progressive. We're a progressive progressive country. My personal views on it is that it's similar. It's basically what I said before. I don't agree with it, but I don't feel comfortable taking away the right for the woman to do it. So I would I I would probably actually abstain from the vote if 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 I were in Ireland and I had the chance to vote, I probably just wouldn't vote. But I I think I'm like you. I just wouldn't vote for it. But I, so if if the law stays the same. I, I would have to shrug my shoulders and say, well, part of it was me being uh, apathetic about it, or maybe apathetic, and not voting. But I do, I do, yeah, so those are my views. I don't like the idea of abortion. I don't think any of us on this table do. Am I speaking? For, no, not, yeah. not particularly. But at the same time, I don't want to, to, to tell a woman what she should do with her body. It doesn't feel righteous for me to do that either. Mm. So I'm somewhere in the, trapped in the middle, and because I can't, reach over to eat even one side with any fools I kind of just sit there in the middle and just suck my thumb so that basically means like what Simple said with our intellectual property we have no right over it once it leaves us well, that's one of the one time where women have more, more power yeah in, in this situation but not really because you, they can't have an abortion in this case no not really because you still can't go and have an abortion well, it's, I think when it comes to children not just, just this one time in ch- mm. children in general women seem to hold uh, favour goes to women but, well, it kind of has to be because of the way that you've set even, up the world. Yeah, but even with our... Even, and men wrote those laws as well. Yeah. So it's weird. More for last then, isn't it? No, I don't think they did Not it. Not really. They, they did it on purpose because then it allows you to distance yourself from the child. Yeah, but... So you look at it like that? In a way. Wow. Yeah, then, <laughs> no, he's got a point. But that doesn't make that. sense. Because, no, yeah. it does because it allows you to then go yeah. spread your seed. Yeah, you have to remember not every, not every man thinks of the way of these are my children and I must take care of them not every man feels like that some man feel like this is not the right time in my life uh this child will be all right because she's a good woman some man feel like i'm not built for this father stuff i just like the sex who told you to go and have the child so you like you're thinking from your point of view where yeah. you're, you're a conscientious person where you're like you can't imagine for the life of you that you would have a child with somebody and not take care of that child mm. i know that i can't imagine that for the life of me it's interesting to me for women that are extremely pro-life hey again right term like how do you how, like their views on this or how they, how, how, how they discuss it. It's, it's, it'd be it's, really interesting. I haven't to, seen them in pro-life women, you know. So they, I, they probably exist, but you never hear them speak because they will get sh- destroyed. But um, some the way that that person's put it to me, the person that's having the conversation was to me was like this. If there was a referendum about men being able to have vasectomies, would, should women have the right to have that vote? I think so. I said that as well. But I said, the reason why we women should, would have the right... No, I said, she said, they said to me, would you have a problem with that? And I said, I wouldn't have a problem with, with women voting because in the end, men just wouldn't care about the answer. They'll just do what they're going to do anyway. That don't make no sense. If it's le- illegal, then it's illegal. Isn't it? They'll just do what they're going to do anyway. They're, they're, because the men are in power. But, I, I but, see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So even if the vote was 70 thingy, the men will still decide, well, they were going to do it again or mm. we're going to change it or we're going to make it to what we want it to be. Uh, okay. I, for me, I, I do think you really I, think we live in a society where it's actually what what people vote for, the people want, is what we get? I, I, what I think is, where you're bypassing the question to to get to this is what I think would actually happen. Where I think the actual meat and potatoes, I mean that is a meat and potatoes uh, subject. Don't get me wrong, it, that is a good subject to have. But the subject of the question is completely different. It's what like the same way we're having this vote about women and men are included. What would men feel like if women were included? Or all you're saying is doesn't matter because but and, then you go, and, then you, and then you go to the next point. You ask me how I'd feel, and that's exactly how well, I, feel. I, I would feel that it is important because then I'll start, I start. I want to think. What do I feel? Because, like I say, a lot of the time I always try and put myself in a situation when there's something that is foreign to me for me to understand it. I have to try and find a way where it makes sense to me, and this would make sense to me. If I mean, I think it's a it's a different question, really. To be honest with you, they don't really go. They're not equal to me. Um, abortion and uh, vers- 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 to me. I don't I don't see them as equal. But at least it's something that is completely directed towards me, and it's a choice on my body. And I'm a man. And should a woman have a choice about my body as a man? And only a man can have a vasectomy. So well, a male vasectomy anyway. So so then uh, that's the question I think they're asking, and that's what I want to look at, and because. That's the interesting part. Would I want a woman to have a choice about that? Do I think you should even have a choice? I think What's it got to do with you? I think well, essentially do you? it would be the same thing though because having a vasectomy is just like saying, right, well, you don't need to have an abortion it's because diff- I can't give you a baby. It's different. It's different. Hold on, hold on. I'm, not, I'm not killing, I'm not killing a, 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 a formed, I'm not even killing the sperm. I'm just stopping the, the sperm. You, even You're the stopping you, your intellectual property Even the fact that you the word killing would be seen in a, as a negative way by some. I think During an abortion? Yeah. Because people don't see it as clear. It's so weird how it, it, you can have two women. Um, let's say you had identical twins, women, yeah? 
Both of them get pregnant on the same day. Mm. One of them has an abortion at seven or eight weeks. One of them has a miscarriage at seven or eight weeks. The way that they describe the fetus, the child, whatever it is, could be completely separate. Yeah, it's, it's true. It's mad. How their feelings for that particular situation, mm. completely separate. One would say it's a fetus. No, it's not a child. It's one, somebody it's would say, I've lost my form. baby. Do yeah. you understand what I'm saying? I've yeah. lost my baby. I've lost something that's part of me. Yeah. It's so mad. It's it's a mad situation. As I said, men can't really understand it the same way that women do. But um, it is what it is. But I, I, what I do find interesting, though, is I would love to see the percentage of people that are pro-life, pro-choice. Pro-choice, yeah? That's pro the one, choice that's is... the one that he, he agree with abortion, yeah? Yeah. That have had a, 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 ch- a, a pet neutered or whatever it is when they take away their right for them to have a child. Or, or whatever it is, I would like to know. <laughs> who cares about that? You ca- who cares? But that's that's what is. What, do you think that's in principle is the same that's thing? A, that's but deep. animals are animals, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so we, it's cool to do animals, that. Animals, we are animals, animals choices, but we are animals. So as it's well. cool to do that to take to take an animal and just take away his rights to every, have children. Yeah. Every animal yes, matters. Yes, because, because you want to put them in the house and, and pet them. Uh, all yeah, dogs yes, matter. Yes, because we we eat animals. We, we they they kill them for fur and all that stuff. And come on now, let's let's not compare animals to humans. We we insult people that do that all the time. They, they give more money to animal charities. They, you know, they look after. We were just cussing it the other day. They look after animals better than they do humans. The, so, uh, and on the other hand, now I'm not going to compare it. I compare am it. not involved in mutilation of animals. Do you think animals will look at us and say, "You bloody humans, you're such <laughs> you, idiots, you bloody fucking"? <laughs> <laughs> I fuck you, you fuck. I fuck you, bloody. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that animals look at us like we're dumb on a day-to-day basis. <laughs> Anyways, um, so uh, we all... So hold on. The fundamental thing was Stavros is saying that he would abstain from the vote itself, but if he had to choose, he would choose uh, the pro-choice. Wahala is saying the same thing. Yeah, I'm saying the same thing. And Simple Simon and that actor, what are your final choices on the vote? I'd abstain from the vote. If you had to? Yeah. No, but if you had to make a decision, if you were forced to vote like Australia, which I think is a wicked rule, by the way. So, yeah. I'd vote against. You would be pro-life, yeah. the child, okay? And Simple Simon? I would abstain, given the choice, and if I had to choose, then I would probably take pro-choice. Yeah. So Free would let the women make up their own mind and that actor is sticking to his guns and he's he's voting on what he actually believes in. So so good on you. Uh, there is a question sent in from a listener. So I would like to remind you, listeners, that there are questions. Uh, sorry, I butchered uh, my man's name a couple of weeks ago. I, I'm not even going to say it, try and say it again now, but um, he sent in a question and we, we we answered a couple of things there. So I, I apologize for saying your name wrong, but what, thank you for sending the question. What time is it, by the way? Right now. Mm. It's just coming up to seven. No, what time is the the, the, the pod? Oh, uh, one fifteen. You know we gotta get to to, to push it and drink. Yes, yeah? we're gonna get long, to push it. How long is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what I was gonna say is, um, do you want me to do it now? Because we've got the GDPR that you want to talk about the diversity, the diversity yeah, training. You can leave the GDPR. Uh, Morgan Freeman. I'm gonna toss him. Uh, Morgan Freeman's done some, some lecherous kind of things. Wait, unfortunately, just, unfortunately, add it to the list. Oh huh? fuck, whoever is it? Fuck Morgan. Right. Add it to the list. Oh wow. Well, because I've done some of the stuff stuff he's done. He, like he put his hand on his, a woman's lower back. He's, he's gone up to a woman and rubbed rubbed her shoulders. Now, I know I did that work a lot. But <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. All that in like, the, the, the way. Mis- no, because I didn't. I, no, it, like I said, if I was fancy the woman, I would probably never would have done it. It would have been the one woman that I just thought yeah, I was but cool then with. How did she take it? That's the point. I would have. I might have thought I was cool with a woman, no, and he, then later he, on, he, she, he admitted she, that he did some lecherous behaviors. That's the point. He admitted it. So if he admitting it, then fuck him. Go on, let's keep going. Sorry, sis. She Andy told me that she's she don't, like, she don't like me swearing. I'm trying not to stop my swearing. Mm-hmm. Sis, who's sis? My sis. Oh. Yeah, she's like, you swear too much. I'm trying to stop, and I've been trying to stop throughout the weeks. Well, good on you. Do you have a swear jar at home? No, and I wouldn't put money in it if I did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so <laughs> do you want to do... Let me, let me, do right, the scenario. Let me, yeah, let me do this question. So this was sent in by uh, a listener. I would like to remind you listeners that you can send in your questions and your queries. Uh, you can send them in long form to... ESN podcast at gmail.com or you can DM us at ESN podcast on Instagram or, or, or Twitter. Please don't do it on Instagram. Do it on Twitter, man. All right. Do it on Twitter. I, I do want to say when you guys last week said that, oh, you don't have the chance to say plug because I don't um, promote things. I remember the reason we said plug was because I was always promoting the group. We no longer have the group. That is why I would promote the group throughout the podcast. So that I was thinking, why would I? I no, I wouldn't say go to our Twitter, go to our Twitter. 
And then I remembered, oh yeah, there's a group I always just say. Oh. You could check it, it's on the group. We got this question from the group. Plug, plug, plug. You can still, you can still you know, plug, uh, put the questions out on the uh, ESN Facebook Wait, you man didn't say plug now? Oh plug. yeah. I saw, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. So the question I'm going to ask you here is, oh, Lord. is this person an, an coming true as anonymous or are we allowed it, to this is a, up? This is anonymous. All right, cool. All right. Okay, uh, so the, the the one in brackets is, is honesty always the best policy? It's a long thing. Whatever um, you did was wrong already from a couple of <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's quite long and I haven't actually read it. So um I'll read it then. So, I'm your yeah, so I, I can't even skip it. All right. I have a friend that's very I have a friend. That's very <laughs> honest and I like her for that. I prefer people just to say how it is, especially among friends. She has openly told me that she thinks I have settled and feels that I have given my boyfriend wife treatment and so my slim chances of marrying or and so so my slim chances of him marrying me are partially my own fault. I told her it is what it is. I've come to terms with the fact that I might not ever get married because from the beginning, he told me he thinks marriage is just a piece of paper, doesn't prove anything, and he doesn't need it to validate his love or commitment. However, he has said, uh, he has not said I will never get married or don't want to. Me and a friend... What? Rec- what? Hold on. What? Carry on again. Which bit? Cause I you, thought- did, you didn't hear what I said or I made a mistake? I, I clearly heard the man say that he don't want to get married. Before they got together? Yeah. I think they, they 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 said something later on that they, basically they thought the same thing before they got married as well. Okay. Because uh, every marriage they saw kind of crumbled, but the long they've been together a few years now. The the more they're together, she realizes no, we, you know, a marriage is a good thing, and she would like to get married. Okay. But anyway, let me continue. Sorry for cutting you up. Like, That's cool. like I said, that we don't do every week. Uh, you do it every week. I can't believe you said that. Anyways, so me and the friend recently had a chat, and she said that if I get married when I'm in my forties, to not even bother invite her. Wow. wow. Boy, this is interesting. Okay. Basically saying I shouldn't have to wait that long and it's ridiculous. We are in our late 20s, me and my boyfriend and my friend. Uh, I have been with my boyfriend for five years and we have lived together for about three years. Uh, he used to live with his mum, and I asked him to move in with me. I do absolutely everything. Cook, even make his lunch for work. No sandwich thing. <laughs> I clean, not just his clothes, but the house. Mm. I do everything, but not for a ring because I was doing all this stuff before. I was just raised to keep a clean house, be able to cook and take care of my man. Plus, he is just the type of guy that doesn't really do housework as regularly as I like it to be done, if at all. Okay. My friend knows my boyfriend, as she has worked with him in the past, as we all work for the same company, but in different fields. It's not that she has anything against him. She actually likes him, just thinks we aren't match. She has hasn't actually said the words you could do better but the only positive thing she says is he's handsome and very polite and friendly friend wants peace she believes <laughs> i deserve more someone more ambitious and not as comfortable oh in life etc she thinks i am marriage material and thinks that there is other men uh, uh, out there that would marry me in a heartbeat i'm jamaican what a shame so is my partner <laughs> and she's talker. nigerian we were both born Ooh. here we were both born in the uk why has that, that even been mentioned? Well, let me finish. Who knows? I just feel that... Well, there we go. It, it, your question is answered. I just feel, from a cultural perspective, there's a lot of differences. A Nigerian... As a Nigerian, she has it installed in her to meet a man that is on the same money as her or more to when provide, money. get married, then live together and start a family. But, but money doesn't phase me like that. He earns a good salary. It just so happens I earn more. She does a shrug emoji. Uh, because of that, I don't think it's right we split things down the middle. If we, oh Lord, if we are not earning the same, how I'm is that? My money that. <laughs> how is that fair? We split the rent. Oh no, we split the rent 50 50, but on other household bills, I pay more because I earn more and he pays what works out whoa, a fair whoa, share whoa, on his whoa, salary. Whoa. You need to go speak to your Nigerian brethren. Yeah, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. So let me Sorry, quickly try and finish it. She thinks I'm crazy for this. Yes. In my immediate friends <laughs> and family, but this is the only bit where I've stopped. I'm like, wait, I don't even want to continue. I want to talk about that. Anyways, in my immediate family and his, no one is married. She thinks me being the breadwinner, having my own place and having him move in with, with and be this guy five years and, hi, and him not having proposed and the, propos- sorry, and the possibility of never getting married or not going married for another eight to ten years is crazy and feels I've pulled the short straw. I'm getting there. Final run. We are planning on trying for a baby son. Well, uh, let me say soon. I'm assuming she means soon. 
And she says, I have given him wife benefits and given him everything already. So why would he want to marry me when he doesn't feel he needs to? I honestly, I like honesty, but wow. How am I meant to take that? It's not like he takes advantage of me or anything, but I'm a giver. I can't help it. I like doing things for my man. So ESM Podcast, I want to hear from all of you. What would you do if your friend who knew your partner said they feel you had settled and feel you deserve more? How would you take that? What would you prefer your friends or would you prefer your friends not to be so honest when it comes to your relationship? Now, I know you guys want to run off in different directions. Yeah, I was about to think the same thing. Man. Let me answer. Let us answer, answer the, her question. the questions that she asked first. Yeah. And then we can attack her after. Because <laughs> is, you can pick up your right, So let me give you those questions again. Mama. After I've given all of that. So thank you for the long question. Uh, we appreciate that. Once again, everybody else, you can send this in. Uh, you can DM us at ESM Podcast on Twitter. Questions. Thank you. Anonymous. And you can, you can send in these long form questions at ESM Podcast at gmail.com and we will re- read them out and we will give you what needs to be given. So the questions are, what would you do if your friend who knew your partner said they feel you have settled and feel you deserve more? Let's we'll stick with that. For, uh, how would you take that? Let's and would you or would you prefer your friend not to be so honest? It's, so, all, it's all one question. Let's start with that. Innit, yeah? It's all one question. Okay. How would you feel? And what? And do you want them He's to do that? Go on, boy. Boy, if you want my boy for then I would want you to be honest. All right. I don't see nothing wrong with the honesty in that situation. I was actually rating the friend for coming out that honest. Mm. Up nepa, boy. I don't understand any problem with you telling me. If that's what you actually feel and you're doing it in a in a in a from a place of actually trying to help me, I have no problem. If you're just doing it in a place of malice, then yeah, go about your business. But if you're actually doing it in a place of that you actually feel that way and you're thinking that it's helping me by telling me this, then tell me. I have no problem with that. I have no issue with that. I I might feel a way about you after. I'm not gonna pretend like I might not, but I'm still glad in my way that you've told me. So be honest with me, but if if I stop talking to you after you've said what you said, then you just have to deal with the consequences of being honest with me. That's well. At least you know what type of friend you've got. Somebody that when they say something is gonna yeah, that, jeopardize that, our relationship. Well, that that leaves a very um unsolid foundation for a friendship. Then. That's what I'm saying. At least you know. In the end, we both know what type of friends we are. But I said, I said I might feel away. I didn't say I'm not gonna talk to them. You just added all of that thing. I just said I might feel away. Somebody's still cussing my my partner, ain't it? That I love. I'm gonna feel away about it. I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna go and say I'm talking to you again. Does it have to be a cuss? That they're saying that they don't feel. To me, it's a, it will feel. I'll feel like an insult in it because you're 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 taking it personal because that's your person that you love. Whether or not you in your sane mind you're looking at it normally and thinking, well, it's not an abuse. It's just actually them talking the truth. But in my head, at the time you hear it, you'd be like, you're kind of abusing my partner. You're saying that they. For me, the person is waste in a in a in a capacity. Yeah, but your friend cares certain for levels. you. No, what if they're not saying? What if they're just telling you that they don't feel like you lot are equally yoked and so much so that you are going to be the one that's going to be putting in more labor and they feel like you deserve for the person that they know you to be you deserve to not have to be put through that extra yeah labor. if you told me like that I'll that doesn't like, mean you're friend- no but you told me like that yeah. that's different <laughs> just, just, just a whole list of things she's telling me there's wrong with the, wrong with the guy compared but to in, you in essence what she's saying is that you put in all the effort but it's not the you essence. make all the money you do all the housework you 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 pay most of the bills you invite them into your house. Mm. So and then and and then on top of that, you're saying that he doesn't even want to marry you. So what she's saying, unless this man is willing to give more or do more, that you deserve better. Do better. Uh, be you, better. As I said, I might be taking it personal pers- the way that I'm hearing this might be completely different how the, the other person heard it. Because I'm just hearing that the because I think the person that she's talking about is not righteous. Let me use it that term, because I don't know the, the person. The friend. No. Is- I'm talking about the man that they're talking about. If oh, the, you don't think the man in if question? The, if that is what, if that what that woman is saying is right, uh, I, well, would, okay. I would tell my friend the same. Okay, thing. so what we're gonna say is the woman, the friend, and the boyfriend. So we yeah, okay, so the, so the woman has said what her friend has said, but then she has also so added. She said, she's added her own, the, that's what yeah, this is what our actual relationship is like. I, I, I include, I invite them into my home. You know, hmm. he said he was not going to marry me. You know, I pay most of, I pay the majority of the bills. You know, I do all the cooking. I even give him pack lunch. Yeah, Shalom I clean the house. Not only his clothes as well. It's like, so, so she has said that, not the woman. So the woman has seen all this and be like, like, fam, are you doing everything? And the man won't even marry you. That because that seems to be the big thing. Like maybe maybe this is the, the Nigerian friend seems to be like, if you're gonna do all of this stuff, yeah, the man has to marry you at least. But this this is where I think she's wrong. I think the friend's wrong with that. Because marriage don't mean that. Marriage is, end of the day, just a piece of paper. Yeah. It, for me, yeah, marriage is just a piece of paper, depending on what type of, unless you're religious, obviously. Yeah. But in in this situation, 
I don't think that you. This thing about oh, if you do all of this stuff for your man before you get married, he's, he's not gonna marry. Is bullshit. Because you can do, you could do, yeah, yeah, you yeah, could yeah, do well. nothing, and a man won't marry because you did nothing. You could do all this stuff over the top, and a man will marry, and he's got nothing to do with all the stuff that he done. He might just marry because at that time in life he decides that's when he wants to be married. Yeah, there was a video last week that I think we just completely forgot to talk about. Where it was the uh, what's the comedian's name? Uh, the Chris bald, R- no, the bald one, um, the elder one that he said that a man only has like, Steve Harvey. Yeah, what was it he said again? Oh, Steve Harvey was saying that there's that the only one woman can change a man. Yeah, so so in essence, it's basically what you're saying. The man you can treat a man all the the best way you want to treat him or the worst way you want to treat him. There's gonna be one woman in his life that he's willing to do X, Y, and Z for to change for to marry to to give his all through. It doesn't. It, so in essence, it doesn't actually matter what you do. So as much as you're saying he's rubbish, you you are kind of saying the same not thing. Not one that's woman, a, but you're a, saying that unless the man wants to do it, yeah. it doesn't matter what you do. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you do. He can. It does matter. Or it matters because obviously think everything has an effect. So it, it matters. But yeah. but in the end. The man will marry you when he wants to marry you. He's not marrying you because of you've, um, I don't know, you've, you've treated me like a husband all this time. That will play effect and it will have an effect on it. But I, I just don't, I don't know men that's not marrying a woman because of the fact that they've, they've done things that like a wife should do. I've never heard any man what, what, say to me, I'm not marrying my chick. Why? Because she's, she already treats me like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a husband. Oh, I've yeah, never yeah, yeah. heard that in life. I, I will co sign that. I will, I will say, because I, I was going to say, I married my woman because she was wife material. But I don't think there's a man that is with wife material and saying, I'm not going to marry her because by definition, she's wife material. It makes so no sense. She does all the things that a wife should do. So why should I marry her? That like, makes I, no I, sense. I, I, no, I don't know I, any man that I, says that. I think the, the angle that they're coming from is you're doing everything, the friend's coming from, sorry, is that you're doing everything that a wife should do. You're not a wife yet. So he doesn't have to get in order for him to receive wife treatment he doesn't have to make you a wife but the point is what man marries a woman to get wife treatment of course I hate no, no, so so this is something for you women to, to forget this no man marries you thinking women marry thinking they're going to get more after the after the wedding man don't think that man is marries what he's happy with at the present time so if he's going to marry you he's not going to marry you that's that's what he's marrying yeah. what is in front yeah. of him he's, you women is we looking at oh when we get married he's going to do this when we get married he's going to no 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 men don't think like that well, mm, there's certain things that men may think about oh when you get married you ain't going out no more yeah, or stupid, you, stupid you, things you, like you got to dress a bit different yeah you, stupid you, things you, like you that you know you're not, not going to flirt as much as you used to yeah. but, but, but not, as a person but, who but you not, are but not you're going to start cooking more so you're going to start I don't think I don't think so not homely stuff anyway you not, say most women essentially marry to change that man women marry ambition uh, I, I, Stavros says this a lot. I think uh, a man marries what's in, a man is happy with what he's married with, and that's what he marries. And a woman marries like the potential. The, the, I don't want to use the word potential, but it's kind of like that. It's like I, I marries see, the possibility I, I, of I, change. I, I see, you know, this beaker holds a hundred milliliters, and and you are seventy at the moment, and I see you're gonna fill up that that thirty. So I'm I'm gonna marry you. There. They have a lot of faith in so their the men. possibility of change. Yeah, kind, kind of. Yeah. Whereas the man sees seventy, uh, you know, milliliters. If he's happy with that seventy, he marries it. He's not. He's not there looking. Well, you're gonna be 80, 90, 100 at some point. A, a man will marry seventy milliliters and say, whatever you do, don't go below that seventy milliliters. Yeah, and yeah. And, yeah. and and, mm, and yeah. a lot of men will marry the seventy milliliters and find thirty somewhere else. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I'll, I'll find a thirty somewhere I'll find else. 30, like, I'm not expecting you to do it. This is what I'm married, but you know, if you ain't got a big bottom, or you, you don't, you can't bring I'll, up I'll the rear. Yeah. Don't worry about you it. Get me? If if I've if got a even, even even forget even like cheating and stuff like that. It's if me and you can't have hold a conversation where you can't make me laugh, but you do everything else, but you don't make me laugh. So let me find another woman that makes me laugh. Yeah, I hear they'll that. find it somewhere else. So anyway, so we're, we're kind of branching yeah, off. Don't much. don't digress. So yeah. so so you guys um. Uh, while, we, while I was giving his point, we should go back to it though because it's a good conversation about that thing. Mm. Oh, yeah, we've spoken about it before, but anyways, um, all right, fair enough. If you remember, bring it, bring it back to that. So, do you want your friend to be honest? Well, Hala said that he wants his friend to be honest. It might have an effect on their relationship, but he appreciates the honesty. Do you? And but in this this aspect we're talking about, like this raw, real honesty, not just whatever. Do you want it? You don't want it? You feel That's just, just, just keep your mouth closed on certain subjects. You know, it's, it doesn't need to be said. What do you reckon? So, Go on, go on, go on, sorry. Go on, the actor. I was going to say, I think honesty, especially in a, in a long-term friendship, I don't know how long these guys have been friends, um, is is needed and is necessary because sometimes you may stray off the path. You may not see what you're doing clearly. And if that friend is a good friend to you, then your friend say, look, you need to look at this and recognize this and see where you possibly are going wrong or you can improve or you could be better and so on and so forth. I don't see the, I don't see the friend liking the man because they have a friendship as well. 
and she's seen things in him that she doesn't like. Maybe even for herself as well as for her friend. So she's trying to guide her friend to be on the right path or to be more righteous or to be more of a, a better woman in that respect to have a man deserving of her which is why she's being that honest to her so do you want your friend to be honest to you yeah i I would like my friend to be honest to me you could deal with that raw kind of honesty yeah, in and this if, era and in this specific subject you actually have a partner i've met your partner before would you want me to start pointing out now nah, she's not good enough for you because of this this and this yeah you'd want me to say that yeah all right cool simple simon um, I'm going to say yes as well. You'd want me to point out yeah. all the, the, the negative things about your missus yeah. and say she, she ain't good enough for you. And you know what's so funny? Um, <sighs> if you actually thought the person wasn't good enough for them though. Yeah, not malicious. Yeah. Like I'm sitting no, you down I'd, and I'm talking to you. I'll tell, yeah. tell you this, right? Especially so, if you know you're, they're going to stay together. I do, I, do, okay. I do this anyway, yeah? I have three people in my family that any woman that I've ever been with, I will ask them because I know that they'll give me the true opinion. Now obviously family is slightly different to your friend i get that but this is the question that i ask them what do you think of this person and when they say oh they're all right well i said no no no. i didn't ask you you know how you feel about them superficially what do you think of this person and their compatibility with me yeah and i have so i've got an aunt and um my dad and my mom are the two other people that i will ask because they will tell me that's good that you can go to your parents and say oh, yeah i'd love to hear this yeah. I, 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 they would tell me that's just outright no. So I I asked that question. So yes, if a friend was gonna do that, then not only would it not be something that's out of whack for me because I do it anyway, but I would pre- I would appreciate it. Yeah, she, all right, but do you, how do you deal with the bad breath? Is it like that all day, or just when she comes down and talks to me? That's <laughs> and, 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 and it's that level of trill that I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. So and for me, the reason why I asked the question is not because of necessarily doubts that I'm having, but but I know that I don't have 360 degree vision. I know that sometimes when you feel a certain way about a person, you, you can blur, you can blur, you can overlook things. Mm. So if I if, if, I, <laughs> if I'm not overlooking stuff, I would like to know that the people that are, as far as I'm concerned, my riders and who know me and who know my potential, who know what I've been through and who know what I can stand for, if they can see something that I'm overlooking because I'm blurred, I want them to tell me. If yep. they, like, it's happened with my, with my dad before. My dad Be said my to me before. Vision. He said to me before. I, I don't know. This is when it wasn't helpful. He says, I don't know what it is about this person, but I can't put my finger on it, but I'm weary. Uh, yeah, I'm and weak. that is not helpful because they're not, actually, they're not actually telling you what's wrong. That's what I'm saying to you. So yeah, let, so, me, let me throw some ambi- ambiguous dirt take. on your relationship. That, that's what I'm saying. So I'm saying, so I, <laughs> I even said that to him. I said to him, you know what? That, as much as I appreciate you being honest, he goes, you know what? I, can't, I said to him, you need to pinpoint something because you can't tell me that. That's, all you're doing is pushing me into a state of paranoia now. Yeah, because mm. now I'm just always looking for something, and he's like, it's not that he he doesn't think it's he doesn't think it's malicious. He doesn't think it's a, a malicious aspect of the person. He thinks it's just a flaw in their character that will expose a problem in the relationship. All right. And that's the best way that he could put it. So it was like I couldn't look for anything because it wasn't anything in particular. But he just felt like mm. there was a flaw in them that would, you, you know, what I'm saying, not be compatible. So that's uh, yes, I would take the I would take the trail friend all the time. All right. But I'll be honest with you. Sorry, I have to break. I I I have to break. I'll be honest with you. I feel like the Nigerian girl, I fuck the Jamaican girl's man. What? And, yeah, that's what I feel like. That's what I was thinking. As well. I think I they feel, had they had something. I'm sorry. I know we're giving this is a d- dilemma. And we're giving wow. advice. But, but so you so you you what you've exactly just done? You've explained that you've you know your your father has said something to you that's decided that's been a bit ambiguous and blah 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 and put something a seed in your head that they're automatically gonna carry on thinking that for the rest of your relationship. So now you've just whoever the anonymous person is has now put a seed in this person's relationship that this woman has fucked her man. I, and I'll tell you why I'm saying what I'm saying. I don't have to be right. Yeah, but you know you're putting that person's head. I put it in the head, but I don't have to be right. But I'll, I'll tell you why I'm saying that. I'm interested to hear because I I didn't get that, so I'm interested. When no, I got that from the beginning. When someone's telling you that they don't feel like somebody's good enough for you, mm. and then they're giving you examples about um, you know, you he doesn't clean that much, he doesn't do all of this that but much, or whatever. Well, what? she, sorry, she did say your your boyfriend's very handsome and polite. There and you nice. go. There you go. <laughs> did I so you're adding your own as well. I'm sorry. I'm only. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just, just messing the joke. I'm saying. I don't know. From I don't, maybe it's just a feeling that I got from the explanation, but I just felt like she's telling her friend that he's not good enough for you because she knows he's not good enough for you because she's. But they all work together, remember? Yes. So she that knows. Makes the, even she, worse. Knows, she knows. She knows. Can I? Can I? What's your answer? 
my answer is I want um, people to be honest with me, but it's just similar to you. It's because I love my my wife so much, and because I think I know her so well. So unless you guys is spot on, because my wife is not perfect, so you can say something that I agree with, and it's cool. The minute you say something that I disagree with, and you're you're so I don't know what it is, but you, I, di- I disagree with what you're saying. My it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an issue for me. Yeah, okay. It'd be an issue for me either way, to be honest mm. with you, because I, I, as much as I, I like honesty, I I don't know. If it's my, if it's if I want you to, okay, let me let me. That's be your super, trigger. Let me let me be super honest. Would it be something your ego could handle? It's not. That's his trigger. His wife is his trigger. It's not even about ego. It's just that I, I, I don't know. I just think I'm good enough with relationships that you guys don't need to come and tell me. Oh, I don't. I don't think this and that about your your missus. You guys can talk to me about anything. I don't like what you're wearing. I don't like how, the job you're doing. I don't like the direction you're doing in life. But the minute you start talking about um this woman. Because my woman is a queen. So if you're told me, like my first, my first girlfriend that some of you guys know, I had negative comments made all the time about her. I couldn't, def- I couldn't defend it. There was nothing to defend. Like when you said she was this or she was that, I couldn't say nothing because you were right. So that's when it, it didn't bother me as much. It didn't, it didn't bother me at all because all you're doing is you're being true. You're telling me the truth. If you said something negative about my wife now, I, I can't think of the negative thing you would say. So the minute that you're then bringing up, bringing up something that I would, I'm probably going to disagree with, because anything you would say that's serious is, I mean, that's real, is going to be some menial, insignificant thing. And then it's like, well, why would you mention the fact that um, she uses like long grain rice to cook, uh, or basmati rice to cook jollof, or something like that? Mm. Then it's just like, why are you picking something? Picky. Yeah. So anything that's serious, you can't find something serious about my wife. Uh-huh. So then, if if you so if you uh, if you really believe what you're saying, then it would bother me because it's like you'd be wrong, and now you're you're it's you, almost like you're you, insulting you my got, wife. And you got a thing about people having the wrong information that's your friend as well so that would make it even worse you don't like people walking around thinking something wrong yeah and so. it's, it's it's my wife isn't it you can't be so I know that this is going through your mind maybe you've spoken to other people about it before it's and it's you're just, yeah it's, well not, I don't, not lies but just, just just something that's not true no, it's because lies is when you when you say something you don't no, believe. I, I, this is when you I do believe like it. I meant like I said incorrect truth. In your head is the incorrect truth. Yeah, well, but, it's not a truth at all. It's just a, a foolishness. But anyways, um, so so that's my opinion. So okay. so I would like it, but then it it might actually have a, an uh, an effect on the relationship. All right. So going back to the question, on the relationship or the friendship? Going, sorry, the friendship. The friendship. Going back to the the, the actual dilemma and going to simple Simon who decided that this woman has now slept with the man, the woman's man. Yeah. Going by that situation that this woman told you, yeah? If you was the person, if you were the friend, yeah? You were the friend. Mm-hmm. Would you look at that man and you know that... And the girl's, how, the girl's exactly how she describes herself. The man's exactly how she describes the man. Mm-hmm. Would you say that the, that person is, is good, too good for the person? Would you have that same opinion as the friend? Okay, well, yeah. So now we're looking at it and we're actually saying if we, ag- so we agree with the friend or not. Oh, we agree with the friend. But from, from the information we have. Um, I would say no. Um, I don't agree with a friend because what is good enough for somebody? If somebody takes you up and they want to be with you, then they obviously feel like you're good enough for them. So what, who am I then to come and tell you who's good enough for so you if, or not? If that was your sister yeah, and she was the girl, the yeah. woman, the woman in the question, yeah. you wouldn't think a way, you would think that it's cool. That's 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 good enough for your sister because she thinks it's good enough for herself. I can feel how I feel. No, but I'm I asking you. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. I'm, so saying, you, I'm you, saying to you, I can feel how I feel, but yeah. I'm, I, I can't tell her then now that it's not good enough for you. What's that about? But did you, do you feel that it's good enough for her? Uh, sorry? Would you feel like it was good enough for her? F- given how he was described? Mm-hmm. Um, that's a standard man though, isn't it? Would do, you do feel you, right, let that me, let it me, was good me, enough for do her? Do you think he's pulling his weight in the relationship? Do you think he's, in terms of relationship, like to and fro? Not, by my, pulling, not by my standard, he's not, no. So do you, do you feel like he's, I'm waiting to answer that question. Yeah, do yeah, you sorry, feel sorry. like he's good enough for that woman? Yes or no? For yes si- or no? For your sister. For, for your my, sister. For if that was, you don't have a sister, but like my sister. Yeah, whoever. I'm just going to say yes because that's her choice. Okay. That's her choice. I so can't, I can't you, make a choice for her. I, so, well, no, I'm well, saying for, by your standards. By my standard, I would say um, he's a standard. By my standard, I would say no because I because of who I am. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you. <laughs> by my standard, because of who I am. But I, I will now me. cease asking you questions because I have received the answer I want to hear. <laughs> no, no, no further questions. <laughs> no further questions. <laughs> no further at, questions. At this Yana. moment, Your Honor, we'd like to adjourn. <laughs> okay, then. So, uh, the actor. Hearing the, the the story of their relationship so far, do you feel that the Nigerian friend is actually correct in what she's saying? In a lot of elements, she is correct. And like I did mention before, even when Simple mentioned it, I think they did something. 
Oh yeah, you, you tell me why that as well, because uh, Simple said why. So Dax, I want to know what what in the story made you think that they've had they've, a, it's, some. It's the same thing. They've worked together for a period of time. She finds the gentleman appealing and handsome and wow, likes is him. That enough now. They've had. Yeah, they've had. You but, work together. You, uh, you look kind of nice. Hey, listen. You must have backed him. Everybody, everybody, <laughs> everybody at some point has a work wife or a work husband, and they might take that little relationship just that little bit too far. Bro, man went fifty shades of I'm, I'm, I, I cannot Listen, throw that on the next person that they've photocopy slept with the machine at the Christmas because they give, party. Because they're giving somebody good advice, they've slept with the man. Now nah, I'm not having that. So you feel it's good advice? Yep. You've so, okay then. They've been together five years. Mm-hmm. They seem relatively happy. Mm. See, for me, what she it's this is where I'm, you know what you say. I'm, I'm, I'm just taking what people are saying, I was, and I'm making it my own okay. in my head. Yeah. Yes. I I I think she might be. All right. So she didn't sound happy to not be getting married, by the way, for one. Yeah. So she's not. In that, like in, I said, in that respect, she, there was another thing that was sent to me. And um, in essence, she said, in the beginning, I was, we, we were equally yoked in that way. I was happy to not get but married. But now she's not. But happy. now she's been together five years with a person. Uh-huh. Not, not, not happy, but now she can see marriage in, in her future. Okay. And she would like to marry this person. I, I don't think. But does he see it? Well, no, he, no, he says he doesn't want to get married still. He I, hasn't changed what he said from the beginning. She's changed. He hasn't changed. Sorry, in that description, did she say where the guy was from? She says he's she, Jamaican. Well, she's Jamaican. The friend is Nigerian. This is weird because Jamaican man, as far as I know, normally cook more often than not. He might be well. European. He's British. Yeah, Jamaican, he's, he's, he's he's not one he's of them Jamaicans. Jamaican, he's not one of them. It's it's strange, bruv. It's bizarre. To and me. they clean a lot as well. They clean a lot as well. Yeah. So I want. I want. I want to hear what Hala. He's got a typically English name as well. Mm. All right. There were no names, there, man. <laughs> <Look> <laughs> he's, at you. he's such a pagan. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. If it was, if I was a Nigerian friend and this was my brethren, like this was my bona fide, so you know I got a bona fide girl that is one of my friends. If she came to me and told me that this was her man, I'll tell her I don't like that man for you. Go find someone else. Straight. If she told me that she was giving more money, if she told me, and this again, yes, it's a Nigerian. If you told me that this man is uh, 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 earning less money, I'll have no problem with that. If you, but if you're telling that because he's earning less money, he's not pulling the weight. To the same level as her, he's not matching her with the bills and whatnot. Not having that. No, but, but she, she, of- she said that he pays his percentile of the rent of the. He's, no, he said they split, split the rent 50 50, but the bills he pays his percentile in relation to what he earns. Yeah, yeah, so what? Pay what you pay, you pay half, but what or you like, pay more. If she said okay. all of this, but came with, I'm happy with him. I'll tell her to find somebody to be better happy with. Why? When she's happy with him. I'm not happy with him though, so you can't find somebody. But it's not about you. It's always about me. (laughs) In this situation, you're asking me about what I think, yeah? No, you're you're, you're the friend telling her. Yeah, and I'm telling her because she's asked me by being in my presence of what I think about her life. Oh, fuck it. You will not be invited to the wedding. That's fine. That's fine. I won't go to the wedding. I'll be one of It's peak when a woman said, don't invite me to your wedding if you're over 40. That's nonsense. That that is where she decided to get into a a ridiculous foolishness. I I don't know where that comes from. That is just a ridiculous foolishness. You know why? That was spiteful. Because the truth comes out of the wedding. No, that, that was spiteful. He gonna say me, me, me and me and Lola did something. No, no, that was spiteful. <laughs> right there, that was spiteful, Shout out Lola. and that was rude. Yeah, that, I, that one there. Okay, because all the other things you could say were quite. Um, as much as they come across harsh, mm. and and they're not, you know, whatever you, things you might not want to hear. At least they're things that uh, us man is almost kind of agreeing with. Uh, maybe not the marriage part. I'm not gonna say that you shouldn't get married, whatever. But anyway, she has a point. But that bit about if you get married after forty, taking into account they're in their twenties, don't invite me. Like well, that just seems malicious. It's like wh- where did that come from? Because every, every all the other things you could say came from a place of love for their friend, but yeah. that cannot come from a place of love for your friend. Yeah, not that comes from a place of intolerance and non-support. Yeah. Well, there is no, there's, there's no goodness in that in that bit at all. Mm. Is she saying after forty with this guy or after forty in general? No, with this person. If this man has taken fifteen, well, they've been together for five years. Whether it's mid mid twenties or mm. late twenties, yeah, yeah, So mid- well, anyway, so you you spent your whole twenties with this person, your whole thirties with this person, and then you come and ask me and come come, you want to be part of my wedding or whatever it is, or invite me, don't invite me to your wedding after 15, 20 years. That's foolishness. Like, what, what difference does yeah, that that's make? That's a petty friend. You should be you should be happy. Like, oh wow, you've been together for 15, 20 years. Exactly. Exactly. And now you're getting married. Yeah. That's the cherry on the cake. If if marriage is so important to you, you would say, at least you were together for all that time. That is the marriage on the cake. No. I'm happy to celebrate that. Unless you. you're the friend that says, if you've been stupid enough to be with this man that's been taking the piss for X amount of time, and then you're still going to go and marry him, then I, maybe I shouldn't be your friend because you're uh, an idiot. You Wait, know, or, then say that. Is the friend married? I don't think so, but I don't know. It which might is, be a case which of is jealousy. further, which is further why I so, feel like she yeah. might have fucked a man. <laughs> now, as far as I'm concerned, with this situation, there's certain things that they said that I would like. I don't, I don't think this man is like 
Okay, you, you, let, I wish Mr. Wolf was here because Mr. Wolf and um, Stav are the biggest traditionalists here, yeah? We, especially when it comes to stuff like the provision and what the person does in the, in the household and stuff like that. So a lot of the time, these mans will say, in fact, let me not talk for them. How do you feel about when it comes to stuff like the provision and, and the split in the house? How do you feel about that type of stuff? Paying bills. In general. It's, 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 the, the, how you no, provide yeah, it for your own. specific. Yeah, so no, like providing man, for your a man, own. A, man, a man's job is to provide. Yes. When, I, I would like to say though, when I'm at my, my missus, for, so let me just be real, I moved into my wife's house when we got mm. married. It was her house. Yeah, so for, we're in the process of looking to buy something now. Recordy. But I moved into my woman's house. It is mm. it is Nigerian law that a man should not move into a woman's house. That, is, that, that, is, that is part of the... Um, you blocked your head. Let me finish, man, because we're running out of time. Um, that is something that I actually call sign. I, I didn't want to move into her, but at the time, she was. Uh, <laughs> you want to move into she, her? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, I do. Yeah, of course, I do. Uh, I didn't want him to move into her house, but she was earning more than me when, when we were going out in the beginning. Ooh. And um, she had her own place, and I didn't. I was with my parents, and I was earning less than her. So, in, in this so case. You were this man, basically. In, the, in this case, well, she does more housework than me, she does all the cooking. You are this man. So, in, in, you could say. In some, in some, but when it comes to bills, it's never that. So that's the point. It's your house, but you can't. But when I, when I moved in, you, it's, it's not your job. To, it's not your job to pay. It's, that's my job. And then on top of that, I made my way to to make more money than her. So she doesn't earn as much money as me now because I said I, I needed. Like I said, I said it a few weeks ago. The day that I got my promotion, where I did hop skip her in in wages, is the day that I asked her dad. You know. I would like to marry your daughter. Now, maybe that was the day I felt comfortable. Maybe that was the day I felt, now I am feel righteous enough the balance. that I can actually ask. Uh, See, Aga. And again, it links back to the traditional thing where yeah. we're talking about the dowry. Uh, and now being able, own her. Well, and being able to provide. I can, now I, I can financially provide for your daughter. I he now, had now earn enough to, because and before, you know, not that she would cater for me. I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of relationships, you. but she she didn't. So whatever, whatever whatever I was earning, she didn't necessarily cater for me. But and now at least I know I'm earning enough to definitely I'll cater for you. So that's when I that's when I went to her, to her dad and asked that question. So in 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 many respects, I'm similar to this dude. In many respects, I'm similar to this dude. If an outsider was telling this woman that he's not good enough for you, then I'll tell her, well, that's your choice to believe this woman or not. But there are other factors than just who cooking, who's cleaning, and who's paying bills. End of the day. So as much as you're just rubbishing the person, there are other factors in this re- in the relationship other than just those like nah. who does the menial housework and who pays the bills. Nah, you got some things you need to take a strong. Does the person about, love you? Does do they talk to you? Are they listening? Do they, do they, do they, do they, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what love got to do? What is this love do, rubbish? Man? Listen, listen, but that's it. It's an important part of a, of a relationship. Bro. Love can't cook food, man. Yeah. Like, trust me, bro. Let me, how do you how do you feel with this person when when you lie down with them at night? Yeah. Do, oh, do, 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 I feel like you ain't paying half your damn bills. That's what I feel like. <laughs> 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 but that's, this is what I say to you. Who who am I to then, to, as a friend, to tell you that this person not good enough for yeah. you? There, on the face of it, you can p- pick at those things, but there are other aspects in a relationship yeah. that you can point. Obviously, out. we only things. have a few minutes left, so if you want to talk about, uh, I, I no, we are talking about. There is no nothing about it. It's a long podcast today. Because I we sense, have to talk about I sense there with might it. be a, a tad bit of jealousy with the friend because she's in the relation. Her friend is in a relationship with a man. She's happy. The man may not be good for her in the friend's eyes, but she's happy with him. We don't know whether this woman, the friend, the, the Nigerian, Nigerian friend, yeah. has a relationship or has somebody, and is happy, and is happy. So, I'll, I'll be interested to ask the lady if she's actually happy with the man. And I want to know what the man's thought on this is. If she's discussed this with her with the man. God damn. You know, Lola don't good. like you, innit? Okay, yeah, so if, if you are out there, well, you're going to be listening because I'm, I'm I'm sure you want to hear the answers to the question. She said that, you know, you guys are honest and I would like an honest answer. I think we gave an honest answer and then we went above and beyond. Um, <laughs> looked Wait, at me you? when he said that. No, 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 I looked, <laughs> at, me, I looked at you. She either it's sexed him it. or she wants to sex him. I'm saying it. But, but hey, so watch out for your Nigerian friend. With all my chest. Yeah. Um, he's, he's rubbed your shoulders if she's an Igbo girl then she definitely wants to do it god damn he, he, put, it, he put on his own tribe boy. that's right I love you keep on your oh, um, big up fine girl um, fine what's it fine fine Igbo Twitter um, fine Yoruba Twitter as well oh okay yeah sorry um, yeah so come back at us and tell us if you're happy in your relationship if you feel comfortable uh, saying that but thank you for your questions once again 
at ESM Podcast on Twitter. Send us. DM, we want dilemmas, man. DM us with the dilemmas. We want dilemmas, man. Yeah, I do like because we had a lot more in the in the first season. We had yeah. dilemmas all the time. We are officially your agony uncles. Yeah, yeah. This, this season it's been a bit sparse. The and bush ones as well. Sparse. The bush, yeah. the bush agony uncles. Yeah, so um, they couldn't leave. We'll give it to you, bro. <laughs> so all right, we'll we'll finish off. We don't with, have Crystal Ball. We don't have that. The last topic this or last week, a couple of hip hop albums were released. ASAP Rocky was released. Uh, released. Uh, da, 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 da. He released an album called Test Testing, and the big boy. Um, I forgot his name. Bro, you're just making it long, man. Pusha T and Drake have got beef, and is and Drake has. Kind of been do you, winning. Do you, do you, do Drake you, is winning at the do, moment. Do you bang like this? Is there no foreplay or nothing? You're no, just like, man. <laughs> <laughs> Take your panties off. <laughs> In fact, don't bother. <laughs> to the side. <laughs> to, to the, the side. side. <laughs> nah, man. There's certain situations you have to, all this lubrication you're doing. Oh, uh, no. I, I need to be flashed out. You know what you have to bang some, in it? Some, some people, you say we ain't got no time. This is one of them in the corner bangs. Come some on, let's, some let's people don't even know who Pusha T is. Okay, Pusha T is the vice president of Good Music which is run by Kanye West. He's a rapper that used to be in clips. He's been in the game for a certain amount of years. He's now 40 years of age. He released a new album called, um, I don't know what the album's called. Oh, da- Daytona. Daytona. The album is fat. At the end of the album, Seven he's, songs. he's got one song called Infrared, where he takes some shots at Drake. And, which is, which and is, Drake's label. And Drake's, and Drake's label. Uh, yeah. You know, boss. Drake, uh, Birdman, he did take a shot at uh, Lil Wayne. He, okay. he, he, he said he backed Little Wayne, yeah? But he took a shot at Drake, he took a shot at Birdman. This is not the first time he's done this. If you remember the video where he was doing the cocaine mans and all that stuff, that was taking a shot at, at Young uh, young Money and, and Cash Money as well. D- D- Drake and Pusha have had a, a, a long standing an, a, beef. Yeah, uh, for the last five or six years. Yeah. The song is wicked, by the way. Infrared is a fantastic song. Probably my favorite song on the album. Good song. Right? But he's taking shots. So he released the album on Friday. Yes. In the morning. Yes. By the evening. By the evening. Drake had already come back with the diss track and made that album almost irrelevant because people didn't care about the Pusha T album anymore. They just care about the Drake diss track. All right. So we all the heard the diss track. Rebuttal. Yeah. All right. We all heard the original song as well, by the way. Yeah. I've heard it. I've listened to it today. Okay. So what do you think? I think that Drake is winning 1 0. Not only because of, not only because he sent out the, tr- the track, but he sent it. He sent it what? He sent an invoice to good music. Invoices yeah. them. Do you know why? Because, because in the song he said it. He said wait okay, so let me flesh it out. Um I'll flesh out the, the background of the story. Drake, it came out that during a reference track, a reference track was given to him. A reference track is when somebody else kind of like makes a song for you, kind of like does the outlay, maybe the chorus, and then they give it to you to fill it in. So this was one of Drake's biggest songs at the time, and somebody else had done the chorus, the you know, whatever, some of the lyrics. And maybe Drake had sprinkled in maybe twenty percent of his own stuff, but he had he had done the track. So then the big thing came out: if people are calling Drake one of the best rappers of all time, man doesn't even write his own lyrics. You can't do that anymore. So Pusha, I don't know, I don't know if they had some, they had some underlining thing in the first place, anyways. But then Pusha went in there and was happy to insult man for one not writing his own lyrics, for two for being signed to. Um, Cash money, sorry, to Young uh, Money, young money yeah. which Under Young Money, money is, is underneath Cash Money, and Baby, the owner of Cash Money, is well renowned known for, for raping his artists and taking their money. So then, Drake might have done a little kind of jab back, but he never really, he's never really gone at him. Like he's mm. gone at other, like we went at Miko, for instance, yeah? He's gone at other rappers, he didn't really go at Pusher, and people were like, well, don't go at Pusher because Pusher's the, 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 the drug man extraordinaire, all right? So this has gone on for years, and Pusher has jabbed him every so often so now this album come out and he says well when um, Rick Ross talked about Birdman being the thief you know everybody bigged him up but I said the same thing from before and this man as a rapper is still a fraudulent rapper base in, in so many his words his words were when I was killing baby everybody was going on like I was actually killing the baby with lyrics Right, so big up man like so, King Push so, can we address him as properly King Push right. <laughs> so he said that like like while I said on a Friday morning. Now, it seems that Drake, well, he also mentioned Quinton. Yeah, so that's what I said. He, okay. me- he mentioned the lyrics, thinking again that you don't. How can you be considered one of the greatest? You don't even write your own lyrics, like basically blah blah blah. Now, one of the things when Drake came back again, like I got this before ten o'clock was my time. So so this is so America. You know they're five at least at least five hours behind. In the West West Coast is even longer. 
So I don't know when he, how long, how many hours it took for him to do this. The audacity. But one of the things, he sighed at the beginning of the song. He said the audacity. All <sighs> right. But then he said, after he sighed, he's like, and he said the audacity, he started off with that. Now the things he went at was, listen, Kanye West is somebody who has requested my help on his albums. This is known fact because Kanye has even tweeted it out. People then went and got the receipts of the tweets. He said, I did this as a favor for him. Yeah, No charge. Now, for helping you out on your album, not Kanye, you, Pusher, because now you're going to get more listens because I'm talking about you because you're that small of an artist that when I talk about you, I actually sell more of your records than you do. You owe me money. Pusher T sent a tweet saying, yeah, send an the invoice then, innit? That's what Pusher said. Yeah, 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 and send invoice for 20, he said. He said, send mm. an invoice for 20. Man, send an invoice for 100,000. 100, Drake is, I'm telling you, Drake is ultra petty. He's ultra, I love it when, he, when he's like, oh my God, I'm, this, this, I'm, I'm here for this beef. I'm telling you what, right? Yeah. Drake's beef energy is, he, he's, he's got chips work rate. He's fantastic. He's got chips work rate for, for, for beef. Yeah, because you know that Chippy was at a point where he just he will lang out the um the reply in a couple of hours. That's how Chippy was going on. Chip was mad. He yeah. didn't waste any time. He bro. didn't waste any time. He pulled up on a man and said, "Okay, have some of this." Listen, Pusha T is one of my favorites. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. We all love Pusha. King I, push. Pusha T is one of my favorites. If I want to change my mood, I put on a Pusha album, and I know that I'm gonna be in a different mood halfway through that album. Two tracks into that album. Yeah. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. So when my man come with this diss track, I said, what did I say in the group? Fucking hell. I said, that's what he said. Fucking hell. Yeah. And then that was after I listened to the track once. I thought, you know what? I've got to listen to this track some more. It, it demanded you, you listen to it. I've listened to it repeatedly. Bruv, so many times. Uh, bruv, I listened to this track, no word of a lie or exaggeration, back to back from Hackney to Streatham. <laughs> bruv. I swear to you, bruv. Back I to back so from Hackney times. to Streatham. So many times. And he, the beat is so nice as well. Bruv, he said... But do you go back to the Pusher track for reference? No. <laughs> it's I, the one. I, I, that's the thing. I haven't, I haven't gone back to the Pusher track. This is what disturbs me. He said, yeah, that your brother said it was your cousin, then him, then you. So you don't rap about what you did. You rap about what, what you knew. Did. Fucking hell, bro. No, but then he, he aimed to say, that's not a problem because most other rappers do, do that too. Oh, and I said, <laughs> my gosh! <laughs> King Push, don't allow this to happen. He I, said, you're only top five on your own label. label. And everyone kept on pointing to the point that the bunch is on that label or was on that label. So they're saying, you're below the bunch. That's what people were saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, oh it's God. wrong. I but, love Pusher. But but this this one diss track has potential to... It cancelled the album. Nah, nah, is Pusher going to push back? He has to. He has to. He, ha- he, he has he, to. And he better not do what um, Meek did and leave it for way too long because and come with rubbish. Because if you come back, you have to come back. I'm with, telling with you. With the ultimate fire. And King Push can do it. I'm not... There's Anybody can do it's, it. Yes. King Push can it's do it. It's within his ability to do it. But, but Drake is so big. It's a machine, isn't it? Yeah. I am I'm nervous, even, though. Even I'm anxious and I'm nervous, uh, You know what? Yeah, because... Because if Push comes out and he flops, bruv... That's the end of Push. If, that's if push, gone. If push comes out with the type of this that he did the last time, the one that Wahala's uh, talking about where there was all the, the druggies in the video. Exodus. Exodus mm. 316 or something. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He would lose. Because that is not... People are not ready for that track. It, yeah, that one is, is very cerebral. It's very calm. It's very... I think... Now it's a threat. It, it, uh? That song was actually a threat. It was, it was, it was a, a, a thinly veiled threat, yes. It was, it, it was a lovely beef song. It was a lovely beef song. Oh, yeah. But it wasn't one that made you do a meme where you, you're, you're, you're fainting. You has get me? to. Okay, is this for you me? Need, you, need to do a, you need to do a diss track for the meme generation. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not doing the memes for, for Exodus 316. This, this Why not? No. Because no. it's the type of thing you sit there and you talk to your man's like, did you hear that? Yeah. That's yeah, what you... Yeah. And it's you a don't say... Like, you say it, like, calmly. Did you hear that? Did, did, and you'd be like, damn, that's yeah, deep. Let me tell you something now. You're yeah? not getting all excited like let, you did with Drake's man. Let me tell you something now, yeah? This situation is very much like the Jay-Z and Nas situation, right? The reason why I say that is because Jay-Z at the time was the biggest artist. And, okay, it's kind of reversed because Jay-Z kind of went at Nas first, even though they said Nas might have gone at him before, but, but let's say Jay-Z went at Nas first. In this situation, obviously, push up, pushed Drake into it, but Drake no hit pun, him. No pun. Yeah, exactly. Drake hit him with... The ether. I mean, so we was the um with the takeover. Yeah, for me that was a takeover type lyric beef that he dealt with him. 
I, what, I, which one is Takeover? Ex, ex, Exodus no, or, no, no, or no. what? He just um, Duppy. Duppy is, is, is Drake. Drake's song is called Duppy, it, by the way. Yeah, Dave's song Duppy is Takeover. Yeah. Uh, I think I and, see where you're going. With and this. the only way, the only way, because he's an underdog and Drake is so big, the same way that Nas at the time was seen as not an icon as he he was seen as going down. He wasn't the best at the time. People were looking at him. As okay, like, in, in decline. Point. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Pusher has to be the most disrespectful that you can ever be. It has to be. When I mean absolutely disrespectful, like, you know, when it, at the, again, sorry, sis, at the beginning, the reason why, for me, Ifa's rubbish, by the way. I'm not thinking Ifa's good at all. But the thing that, that everybody goes across, if you speak to people, right, well, Ifa's better than J, um, Takeover, the first thing people will say is, look how he started the song. Fuck Jay Z. Stuff like that. that was so disrespectful for somebody like Nas. Nas don't do that type of stuff. Yeah. yeah. With your big lips. Yeah. With your big. Nas. Dumped himself down so much mm. that it made people like Nas can't. No, this is, Nas had to come out of himself to make this song. So Pusha has to go to that level. To come Pusha back has there, to come. Yeah, because throughout he his can't talk whole, about cocaine. His, his throughout his whole career, that's very important as well. Throughout his whole career, Pusha has always rapped at this level. Yeah, he's above most people. He doesn't. He, he, he always looks down on other rappers. He looks down on you. Mm. And I agree with what, what, what Halo just said. It, Nas couldn't look down on that level because only certain people would have appreciated the the insult that Nas would have done if he st- if he stayed on the level that Nas, that, that Jay Z was on. Because exactly. I I think many and this sounds very condescending, but I'm gonna say it. many intellectual hip hop fans believe Takeover was better then than Eva. But the majority, the masses, believe Eva was better because it dealt with the lowest common denominator, and, and everybody could could appreciate Eva. Meme culture. Not everybody could appreciate Takeover. Yeah, so, yeah. Dick sucking lips. So, 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 like I just said, with with Exodus 316, proper hip hop fans will sit there and we'll we'll actually discuss it, we'll break it down, we'll deci- we'll decipher it, and it will go into our souls. But when it when it comes to um, this this one that Drake just did, everybody's just gonna. Just, you, there's so many like little lines you could take from it. He said on the track. This is what I'm saying because I'm not. I'm, I'm that's what I'm saying is like take take because the song is bad. That song is. He said that you look up to a guy that is. Oh, you're working under a guy that is younger than you. Even that's so so basic, yeah, yeah, yeah. so simple, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's reality. You're and when you're, t- and he keeps talking about how he's forty, I'm forty. Pusha was talking about how he's forty, forty in his in his new album, I'm talking about how old he is now. He's like older. I'm forty. You're forty, bruv. But the guy underneath you is your boss, and you're younger than, and he's younger and than and you. And I'm hot nearly. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm two thirds your age, and, and I'm, I'm doing more, more than, than you. you. He's just a a annihilate. So push. I kind of agree with what what I saying. One, he can't come back with cocaine rap because mm-hmm. Drake doesn't claim that lifestyle. Exactly. Yeah? I'm not claiming to be, you know, the the, 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 the biggest thing, the, the the Eminem in 8 Mile, where he puts himself down so you, you find it hard to insult you. So now it, what it comes down to is, okay, the man did help me with the writing. So he admitted it at the beginning of the song. Just because somebody helped me with this thingy, is this why you're coming at me? Look at your boss. I helped him. Shut your mouth. That's what he started off with. Yeah. So he, he kind of deaded that conversation. So if you're coming back with me that uh, I didn't write everything, you're like, okay, I've said that now. Okay, and what? You can't talk about hip hop, uh, you know, uh, uh, all this uh, crack and all that stuff. I don't care about all that stuff. You can't talk about beef. I've never claimed to be a hard man. If you want to come and talk about uh, lashing me on the street, then so be it. Because I've never said that I'm the baddest man. Everybody knows I'm the nice guy, Drake. So you can you can claim to attack me. What is going to come out is, oh, you're attacking the, you're attacking the little boy, Drake. Uh, how 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 are you going at the nice guy? What is it you can come back with Drake at? You don't make as much money than me. The girls don't like you as as much as me. You, you don't have as many hits as me. I've been in the game longer and I've made more and I've done more. I've, after every, on every aspect, I'm bigger than you apart from this lyrical aspect. That's the only thing you can come at me at. He hasn't been in the game longer. Yeah, but that's, that's the point. That's it, I, Because I've been in the game shorter and I have more, you can't say anything on oh, that level. Yeah. The nerve. I think the biggest problem, the audacity, the, bro- the biggest problem that I see with this whole thing is that, like you said, Pusha does cocaine rap and he's been doing cocaine rap for the last 20 years, 20 years plus of doing Johnson and Johnson. Yeah. Mm. So we know that that's the brand that he comes with. He hasn't really done anything else in the sense of like diversity. So yeah, he might've done one or two girl tracks, but most of it, we know that he's cocaine rap. If a man causes the masses to question the credibility of the thing that this man has been standing on for the last 20 years. It's true, you know. He could just, you know what? He could just be ended. I've What's just that? Realized, say it, say it again? Say yes, again? yes, 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 yes. This is why he shot me on the phone. Listen, yes, this is why people call uh, Drake like uh, the scientist when he's, when he's rapping. Mm. Because I've, I've just now realized it. You just pointed it out. This is what I stand on. I stand on two things. Lyrics 
and my my pedigree as a drug dealer. Yes. Yep. And what's Drake done before? Because he's done it before. This is not the first time. He went at him, not as I'm a better rapper than you. He didn't even mention I'm a better rapper than you. He didn't mention money or all that stuff before. What did he mention before? You are claiming to do stuff you didn't do. I'm coming at your brand. You're not really the drug dealer you say you are. You're not you're not you're not Escobar. You know, you're not Sosa. You're you were a little time drug dealer that sold some stuff to get your trainers and 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 you know whatever. But that's it. Stop going on like you're a big man. And this is the problem that I have with this dish track. Yeah, this mediocre. Is, because it could finish it could finish him. He he, he finished two people in this is what I said take over by the way, because he finished two people in one song. One person got stray bullet because Kanye West didn't even <laughs> got stray bullet as well. Because he said stuff like I could never have a Virgil in my circle. Right, hold back because then I don't want it to be better than me. He's talking about Kanye. He's yeah, saying that push yeah. is better than you. Mm. And, and by the way, Kanye. No, 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 no. Virgil is um. Oh, you don't know about this. So Virgil's a um is a designer, yeah. And he oh, was, uh, he yeah, was uh, yeah, un- yeah. Under and then the, um, um, um Kanye West, yeah. yeah. And then he's now gone to go and be at Louis Vuitton. Yeah, yeah, but no, but he's still talking about Pusher. No, no, in, he's in a way, about, he's talking about Virgil. He's, oh, okay, I thought, thought about, I thought he was using so an analogy. Virgil was with Kanye, mm. and Kanye. It wasn't letting him elevate because yeah, but that's it, taking a shot. At but yeah, it's the, the bullet's still hitting for Kanye as well. Yeah, it, that, no, the shot is directly yeah, at Kanye. Mm. Can we but Virgil, I'm saying Virgil is an actual person. Can we just acknowledge the verse on on the point Kanye put on that album is trash? By the way, oh yeah, of course. There's no reason for that Kanye verse at all. Should just remove it Didn't completely. Me. This is rubbish. But um, <laughs> at, oh my god, at, I just don't know what to say. It's a big problem for me, man. Like I said, I play, <laughs> I played the track. I played the track from Hackney to Streatham, and when I finished playing the track, I was like. When I got there to straight I, I was like, nah, this the is streets, just too much. The streets want it and they want it now. You and push out, you need to bring it to the streets now. I had this to, is like, I told him, you have to put that on the stove and you need to start twisting you it. You need to like, cook it up yeah. now. And I mean that proper high grade. And sell it. I mean that proper. Quick time on the streets. I mean, I, want it, I don't want to snort it. I do not want to smoke it. I want to inject this this, this track right to it's, the vape. It's true. And the problem, the problem is, it's got to be, it's got to be a full round around it, the, the, the instrumental needs to be hard oh. the bars need to be hard oh. like this is the levels that are going up here now is before this my favourite this track of all time as petty as as stupid as it was was No Vaseline by Ice Cube that was my favourite no No Vaseline because, is a serious thing. because he just took it straight to fucking yeah, yeah he went no to the streets he all got a business yeah? he went to the streets oh, are you saying this, this song could match your favourite this song of all time <sighs> it's getting there wow. it's close <sighs> Bro, the track is hard the track is hard. I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm not saying that. It's hard. But it's better than back to back. For me. Nah. See, it's no. better than back to no. back. It no. Is, no. It is, it is, no, because up to now, I'm still, I don't think in two, three years time, I'm going to be listening to I haven't listened to back to back for ages. Oh, the thing about back, back to back. I'll listen to back to back. Back to back, yeah, was when Drake showed the science, as he said, where he was talking about with Meek. You know, you're a bad man. You're a this, you're a that. He took, when, when after that Meek was finished is when he used the lyric, you got bodied by a singing N-word. After that, I said, Mink is finished. Because everybody calls Drake the nice guy, Drake. He's a singer, blah, blah, blah. You can't lose to the singer. And you lost. To the singer. And then when he sent the bottles as well. Because obviously this is his thing now. He's, do, he's sending the things. That's his, his new thing. When you follow up the lyrics with the things. When he sent the bottles to Charlemagne, yeah. he just ended that as well. But I think this... It's so apt, yeah? It's so apt, yeah? The fact that the song... He's got a song and they're saying, what would Mink do? Because you don't want to see what Meek did. <laughs> you want to come back right, right now. And I mean, right this yeah, very Meek now. Meek took a long time to come back, innit? Meek took like a whole week and a half and then came back with the most rubbishest diss track I've ever heard in my I life. I can't even remember Meek. Yeah, like Undertaker beat. It was oh, so yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah, I think I listened to that back. That's what I'm saying to you. Three times. Pusha needs to have beat select. Well, he's got Kanye on his side. So hopefully there's at least one throwaway beat that Kanye's got that he could just go on, just go on. Hold on, did you like the beats on this album, by the way? The yes. beats of the production okay. on this album. So yes, you're, you're, you're very. Sangaria. Yeah, Con- Kanye produced a whole album. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 he's so back. He's back with fire. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Sangaria. All right, continue. His album's gonna be. I told you, his album's gonna be mad anyway. I know that from from. You think Kanye's that. album's gonna be mad? From all this crazy stuff nah, he's, he's doing, his lyrics is gonna be poor. It's so I'm not. Not, gonna not lyrics. I'm talking production wise. Production wise, it'll be. You could, my twisted dark fantasy kind of that kind of level of yeah, production on that level. Sangaria. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah, I don't trust you. He's not going to be at that level. All I'm uh, saying now no, 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 is no, that no, no, big up man like Foles. Foles said that Pusha has to go and get Malice and tell him to put down the Holy Communion and come back. <laughs> because, <laughs> oh man, I, I don't know what I don't know what you can do. Because right about now, people did people. Okay, when he went at Meek, I think people were like yeah, Meek. He's not Meek. Yeah, he's known to be a, a a Philly rapper. He's meant to be all right. 
Meek but, was not on Drake's level. But yeah, Meek nobody, is, Meek nobody, is, Meek, nobody's seen To that. me, I would never, I wouldn't put yeah, them in the same Yeah, but a lot record. of people like Meek in his street rapper, like blah, 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 blah. But Push. Push is somebody that... Uh, cause Push I, I should never Push, lose to Drake. Push and Drake are both upper tier rappers, yeah. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned. But he should never They're lose. They're in the same bracket. In, in most people's heads, Pusha T should never lose to How Drake. did it get here? How did Pusha allow it to get here? He, he poked. He poked. And he poked. And he didn't expect the reply. Maybe he did. Maybe he thought that this was because what happened. I went back and I listened to Darkest Before the Dawn, yeah, mm. um, Push album, and then I realized that that whole album, almost most of the album, was diss tracks. He just this is fl- flames everyone. Uh, he, like the ho- most of the album was diss tracks. I like I heard him talking about uh, people being signed to a label that's signed to something else. Signed- he needs to be careful because he's signed to Good Music, which is Kanye's thing, and. Good music is signed to Universal. Yeah, but he's, that's how most labels are. He's a vice president, though. That's why he feels he can be above. And plus, he, he says it quite openly. I don't need to rap. Yeah, bro. I don't need to rap. I got that money. The brand way. is in yes. jeopardy. Yeah, he, has, he has to I'm, come. I'm second drug dealer only to Easy E. That's what he said. Can you imagine? That's, <laughs> that, he's like he's proud of that. No. That, that is his calling card. Do you know what makes it so bad, this situation? Before that... Uh, uh, song came out yeah like to smiling man he loves the beef no, yeah before that song came out yeah everyone was saying that this daytona album is fantastic it's a masterpiece it's this it's that oh my god it's the most rawest thing i've ever heard in my yeah, life now it's left a question mark and then now one diss track all i'm yeah. saying is duppy duppy duffy two yeah, minutes what, what, push needs to come back it's like 38 he, seconds yeah he just released an album and people are saying you need to release new music now two minutes and 38 seconds it took and that last 20 odd seconds is just instrumental. The instrumental is even fucked up at the end. Did you hear how it yeah. restart, restarted mm, and done all kinds yeah. of shit? That's how peak it is. It's like, don't fix it. Just send it out there. Deep. Send it out there. Uh, trust me. Uh, listen, the I made a mistake. The, don't the, fix it. Drake, simple. everything you do is perfection. Don't fix it. This, listen, send it out. I'm and saying to you, look, he, what he's done here is what we, this is in Dancehall. This is what happens in Dancehall. Yeah. When Man Like Vibes Cartel is in beef with somebody, this is how rapid the fire comes. Yeah. You dropped a track this morning. Okay, by this afternoon, man, we'll drop three tracks, yeah? And then you go and drop another two tracks. He's got he's got something waiting for you in the clip. You understand what I'm saying to you? So it's like Drake has gone to dance all levels with the beef I, now. You know what? I just love that. And push us from dance all, so we should have some fire for him. I, lo- I love the way that he just drops in them little, them little things in it. He said, who gassed you to beef with me? Yeah, that was the English part. I said, I yeah, said, yeah, he, yeah. He, he took it from Skepta. Uh, yeah, who gassed you to beef with me? I'm I telling said, you, I'm involved in this. I'm me. telling you. I'm telling you, the track is hard, man. It's a problem. All right, okay. We have to finish. We are running out of time. Well, we've run out of time. So let us do our uh, church notes, our goodbyes, our he social said, medias. Look, holler at me when you're more humiliated. <laughs> he said you have no malice. You're an approachable guy. Oh, that was the one. God damn it. That was the one. <laughs> that was the one. You know why that, you know why that lyric is wicked? Because he's giving his Double brother Alexandra. props. Yeah, he's giving his brother props at the same time as pulling him down. Oh, for, for those that don't, don't know, even look Pusha's brother and the other member of the Clips, uh, uh, Clips group is called Malice. And when he stopped doing the cocaine rap, he quit rap and went into the field, of the church field. I don't know if you guys know what we're talking about. He quit rap. He said he's renouncing all his drug dealing ways. He believes he's gone down the wrong path and he went and found God, basically. So now he does Christian rap under the name No Malice. So when man said, hey, that was, so "Is it he was still doing much?" It was even a triple. Or, it wasn't even. I don't know if he continued, but he, 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 he's yeah. now a new rapper called No Malice. He's not Malice anymore. He's No Malice. So when he says, "You have no malice," you know he's what? Like, it's, no, it's, but it's, it's triple on trying. It's like you, you have no malice. That means that you haven't got malice with you. Yes. You have no malice, as in you don't have that in your heart. Yes. And you, you are an approachable rapper, which means that Malice, when he was there, wasn't an approachable no, 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 rapper. Uh, no, no, because malice it's, it's triple. But I think your, your first two were basically the same thing. Okay. But I do agree with you. It's triple. Yeah. The third one is. Is, when you do clips, maybe you could have come at me, but malice is not with you anymore. Yeah. You have no malice. Yeah. You're so, wrong. so I can g- by yourself. Who are you? Because Pusha always says he's always said my brother is a better rapper than me. He's always said it. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I, I, no I don't. I don't agree with it. I don't yeah. agree with it yeah. at all. But he always says my brother because the uh, malice is the older one. He said he schooled me on how to rap. He's always been better than me. Nah. So now he's saying, yeah, he is. You and he's not by your side. So I will Can finish you. Malice comes back and just does a prayer for him. Oh, just prays. Man. So when you hear about triple Tell entendre, yeah. like triple entendres don't don't exist. Simple Simon just explained to you what, what a triple entendre. Clay's been saying that from day one. Anyway, it's absolute hope. Every time you must find a way to, to put in your Dre, I'm, I'm your, your Jay Z. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say this in both songs. 
They both reference Jay Z lyrics to this the other person. Just wanted to know that. Yeah. Go on then. I can't remember what the one was in infrared. Another one in infrared. Um, uh, yeah, another one, but I can't remember it either. Yeah, but they both anyway. They both. Did. Okay, fine. Okay, salute cool. Hove. All right, so um, <laughs> church notes and goodbyes. Let's start with simple song. <laughs> Me I go mess up a party tonight. I just watch tonight. Tonight I go be the first match. Yeah, 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 yeah. At Simple Simon FB on what Twitter. What kind of Jamaican Tourette's is this that you just did there? I don't Bashment know. Tourette's. Uh, nah, I felt, nah, it's not Bashment Tourette's. You give him praise because people turns through. Uh, can you ma- I know it's wrong. <laughs> There's something wrong with me and I'm glad to hell. I'm glad to hell. But what can happened? you imagine Bashment Tourette's? Bashment with Tourette's. Ba- the Bashment Tourette's. <laughs> Tourette's. <laughs> just wondering what kind of... Da-na-na-na! Just wondering... You're an idiot. Um, at Simple Simon FB <laughs> on Twitter. Oh, what? I don't have no Instagrams. <laughs> <laughs> um, holler at us. Well, we love the I'm dilemmas. Fire. We love the land. We love the dilemmas. Please, please, please bring more oh to the floor. All right, peace. I'm glad to help. Bash with Tourette's. I'm glad to help. All right, uh, Big Walla at Big Walla on Insta <laughs> at Big Walla on Twitter. Please, any pastors, pray for me because I'm glad to help. Bash with Tourette's is finishing me in my old head. <laughs> All right, and that actor. <laughs> What's good, people? D A T A C T O R on Twitter and on Instagram. Wonderful. Um, Mr. Wolf, you can catch him at uh, aka AKA underscore Mr. Wolf on Twitter and aka Mr. Wolf on Instagram. So follow him. He wants to get his social media up. So please help him out. Can you please cuss him at Liverpool as well? I think he needs Yes. Go to 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 his social medias and say, we're not sorry for your loss. Uh, I am Stavros Boss. You can catch me at Stavros Boss everywhere. Uh, Stavros says this week and Stavros says is the section where I recommend something it's a couple of Sky Arts program one is called The Evolution of Hip Hop which comes on I think I don't know if it's three or four episodes but it's, it's on Fridays on Sky Arts the first episode has already aired as you're listening to this um, it was good so uh, the next one is Friday 9 o'clock uh, you can also go online and download it if you are a Sky member and I'm sure there are other avenues if you're not and another one is on Sky Arts as well as Generation Grime. It's a one-off uh, documentary about Grime and its evolution from where it started to where it is now. It's um, It was really good. I watched them back-to-back on Friday night with my missus. And the Grime one really took me back to... I mean, I, I don't count myself as part of the Grime generation, even though I'm like the same age as Wiley. So I, I could have been it, but it kind, I kind of, because I was hip-hop, I, wasn't, I was looking at it from a, across the, the, the side. But watching that documentary was, was really enjoyable and realising that I, I did see it. Even though I wasn't part of it, I did kind of see certain things that I was talking about, you know, pirate and how it came from this and blah blah blah, and and the linking to um dance to uh, to dance. I I loved when they I love it when these artists start r- understanding where these things come from because I don't think you you necessarily consciously understand that the the grime things uh, them times where they were doing them clashes, how much it links to the clashes back back in uh, the dance hall oh yeah yeah, yeah and about how like some people like you had to get insulted that was part of it some people took it to heart and it's like that's not part of you know and where did this come from that you could insult a man on street you couldn't insult a man but on the lyrics you could because this is where our, all our parents came from these countries yeah, where, yeah, where yeah. this is what this is what they grew up on and we listen used to listen to this and we kind of turn it around and brought it into our own thing and i, I like how they, they took it they explained how it came from the street then it went commercial and then after a couple of uh, incidents the commercial kind of dropped them and they used the uh, Skepta, That's Not Me. Uh, the video, the lyrics about how it came back now to the street and now everybody's independent. And now they realise they don't need the, the big labels. It's a really good documentary anyway. So that's called Generation Grime. Sky Arts. You need to download it because it's already come on, but it's good. Okay. So um, you can catch us collectively at ESN Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Once again, if you need or want your relationship or situational subjects answered, we are we're here for you. The uncles will discuss things and then tell you that you're being cheated on by all means <laughs> you can send in your questions to ESM podcast <laughs> at gmail yes. he said yes you can send in your uh, your questions or whatnot to ESM podcast at gmail.com you can find us on SoundCloud on Apple Podcasts on Stitcher on Google Play Music we are everywhere that you listen to podcasts uh, big up to uh, I've forgotten the name so I'm not even going to say it sorry Call out the box podcast because they're trying to assist me getting onto Spotify. So I'm still waiting on you, but big yourself up and thank you for helping us out. Um, yeah. Find us on Facebook, search for Eloquently Say Nothing. Use the hashtag ESN pod. Tell us what you think about the situation. Uh, 
the person that wrote in would like to understand the views of all our listeners on this situation, you know, on this topic now. Do you think the man is being cheated on by the Nigerian? Do you think that this Igbo Nigerian whore has been cheating on the, on the ja- Jamaican bastard? Who knows? Do you think that she should leave? Do you think honesty is a good, the best policy? Right in. Tune in next week to find out. Yes. And, well, don't you don't have to tune in. You need to go to social media, put in the hashtag ESMPod and find out what everyone else is saying. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. Don't do the evil whole bit, yeah? We don't know that she's evil. I said, if she's evil, okay? Don't, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm don't, don't do that, yeah? Sorry, right, sorry, cool. sorry, sorry, sorry. This could be an online soap opera. This could be an online soap opera. Evil Quen. This could be an online what? Soap opera. Online soap opera about your life. I don't think that, though, I don't want to put no more cheating on the woman's brain, so please don't think that the man is cheating. Yeah, well, yeah. I, well, I, 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 I didn't say that. I just think that you need to tell him that he needs to pay, pay his way, you know? In the, in the house. Okay. But maybe he's giving her the thing and the thing's outweighing the money. That's what's going on right there. We're so raw, taking it to such a basic level. No, 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 not we. You. No, you're just as bad as I am. I didn't say nothing. But you shook your head in agreement, though, when I said it. I, was, we... I just want to get home safely. <laughs> shout, shout out a number one listener from back in the day from when we first done podcasts. Shout out Elaine. Saw her yesterday. Yeah, big up. Yeah, big up <laughs> Elaine. Yeah. Oh, and please rate and review us. Elaine is one of the people that rated and reviewed us on Apple uh, Podcasts. So if you can do that for us, please, that does help us round us up the challenges. The police are coming for us now, so we're going. Peace. And remember, people, if you ain't saying nothing, say it well. Slag for life. Unless you're the Nigerian. Uh, sorry, did you make a boyfriend? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> then stop the slagging and start, for us, start cooking some food. That was good. Um, two minutes. Two hours, 22 minutes. I don't know how... Usually I like recording a long time before. Yeah, but, be, but because we were talking so much stuff, right. I couldn't record it. My God! Push a tea. I need him to come back. Push, push a tea, don't come back. Ready. Dirt on him about him being a dead man. I'm just gonna lose because I'm